In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. Uh, imagine that, a future that's super black. Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact. What would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black. Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back. Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact. As I encounter evils the world face, demons the world makes. I'm needed the world to stay. Rest in peace to Chad Chadwick, they killed all the Black Panthers. Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers. Suits in DC, pray it lead to a civil war. It ain't no Justice League, what's the need to be civil? For, propel like the juggernaut is playing no stopping this the world in grave danger who can stop the apocalypse they killed all the heroes the new ones don't really care but if you need me put your fist up in the air yeah in the sky it's a bird it's a plane flying high i emerge through the flames have no fear i'm here so stand back melanin activate the name is super black in the sky it's a bird it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. Whoo! It's Thursday evening, everybody. Guess what that means? You get another dope episode of Blurred's Eye View. What's happening, everybody? I'm your host, the man on the wall, Chris Fury. Uh, if this is your first time here, show your love on the YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Get to check us out live anytime we go live. Dope interviews, old interviews, interviews that's shown only on the YouTube channel, and so much more. But without further ado, let's get uh, my, my second in command in this building. Let's get her going. Let's get it going. Lady Hello. Mandalore. How are you? Uh, oh, life is laughing out this piece, apparently. Uh, oh, <laughs> and life is hitting like everybody. That. What the Yo. Samuel L. Jackson is going on? <laughs> Can I tell you, the 93 degrees took my AC out. It's on. But it's, but it's, it's out. Open. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? Lost the apparel this evening because <sighs> your girl is dying. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's dying. So you know what? Ever since all that stuff happened, like two weeks ago with the weather, it ain't nothing been right. Nothing been right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It ain't right. Oh yeah. But here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like and that's yet right. That's right. <laughs> too, too far. You're, you're right. Too far. Any sponsors watching? We do like money. I do, or at least a cooling apparatus at this at this at this, stage, at this stage. It's like what works. Oh, <laughs> you know what? It's crazy. You're not the only one who's like here in Cleveland. There's a uh, an apartment complex, and they AC went out for the second time, and it was earlier this week. Oh, you said the apartment complex is AC. Oh, they have AC in the whole building? No, my boo. Yeah. That is my own personal AC unit because in my building, you go with none. <laughs> get your own. You say, get your own? This is what's mm -hmm. happening. Man. Our Grio the Horde is in building. What's happening? Geek my heart. What's happening? She, she's got a look muted. like, bro. Hey. She, she's like, she was checking too. No, that was, that no, was no you're fun. not. <laughs> So, um, Kira, come over yes. here to New Jersey. We have AC. But y'all oh. have different types of taxes is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> y'all taxes is funny, honey. I don't it's do more, it's more than New, um, New, New York City? I'm, I'm fairly certain. That state tax, that federal tax, not the federal, the state tax, your local tax? I don't know. I'm just saying, we gotta be like, hey, look, hmm. taxes is taxes. We ain't got no that, that part. Going. They gonna get I you mean, one way <laughs> Going just, or coming, just, like you bring them? Yeah, we taxing you. Um, taxing. Yeah, it, no, just you, that's you just no. Stop yeah, this nine degrees. This nine degrees ghetto. Fuck that. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and it's not. And it's not the normal. Yesterday and today. Here's the thing. It's not the normal ninety degree weather neither. It's like this. This is a totally different thing. There's something else. Like, it hit me back like it was Blurcon because Blurcon was that fucking hot. Oh God! <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, wait, no. That's green greenhouse yeah. gas. Greenhouse I, gas hot. Why is? 
It was. It. I feel like it was worse somehow. I didn't. Okay, like, fine. But I mean, it was right there. It's. It's memorable. It's mem. Yeah. It's, it's triggering. It, it is it, giving. It is giving. <laughs> it's sugar. It's sugar. It's definitely sugar. coming to her. You just like, oh, well, at least it's not like it was a blur cut. Oh, it's still hot, girl. Oh my god! Someone else who could who could tell us how hot it was a blur cut. Maybe Montel was in the building. Hey, oh. <laughs> maybe just showing off now. Check yeah, up all yeah, the bling yeah. that I have gotten from Dragon yeah. Con because Dragon Con was a motherfucking weekend. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, by the way, Blur Con was Sunday dinner kitchen hot. Yeah, <laughs> during the summer. During the summer, we're gonna bake some hot. ham. We're gonna bake ham and turkey, but it's July. Like it's and ribs <laughs> in the oven. Hold on. And, and, and Kira, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all, That's y'all got it. If you didn't come to Dragon Man, y'all gotta come because this year See, was ridiculous. Navy's got all them badges. He need I know, to put them right? on his on his on his on his blues. He need to put them on his navy blues. You know what? <laughs> if I could fit him, I'd be like the sexiest beast around talking about forget your accommodation. I've got I, see, I can't even say it because <laughs> what's right there? I'm sitting going. Keep up, keep up, got it. Uh, mm. yeah. Yo, and shout out to Defari because oh. man, that cat, him and Slip, uh, uh, Slipstream PC, them cats was on it this weekend, and I'm I'm mm. glad I could help as much as I could. They were killing it. It was amazing this weekend. It's 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 been a thing. It's been a thing. Shout out to Hellspawn. He's out there. Uh, Slipstream oh, yeah. actually did a, did his interview with him and. Yep. <laughs> I was just like Demetrius, I'm gonna call you. Uh <laughs> Demetrius is on that grind, y'all. Man, it was that's ooh, my, good grief. Bless his heart. Getting getting the exclusive with, with um Hellspawn Cosplay at Dr- at Dragon Con. Good good work, my guy. <laughs> Man, it was something else. Uh we also have with us our very own engineer. Black Spark. Mm-hmm. What's up, sir father? Oh, it, it stays it's, cold it's, in this piece. We, 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 <laughs> we, slide, we slide with penguins in here. Look, look. <laughs> when you, when you, like I said, when you lift warp drive engines barehanded, I think, yeah, you, no AC will be out. Uh, <laughs> it, it, that's the truth. The AC never stays out in the South. No, no. We gonna, I can't be like Kira. I can't look good naked. Not that. No, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. wow. I think that Kelly thought it was just fine that you look wow. good. Wow. I'm sorry. I can't. Hi, OB. Here, here, wow. here, 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 <laughs> what up, little OB? I'm not about up, to pull man. a fat Joe on here. No. I'm not going to pull a fat Joe. I'm not going to pull a fat Joe. I'm not going to pull a fat Joe. Oh, Lord. I would oh, like to say God. for the record that Will does not know how good I look naked or bad. I will say both ways. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to go on, on record. <laughs> Wait, wait to go to face. Hey, first of all, first I'm of all, just, sis, what I'm you're not going to do up. is put yourself down. So leave it at <laughs> no, good. No, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. Be- Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Thank you, lady. I'm, I know I look good. You, I don't listen. give a shit about nobody else's. I, I, I am thinking of this in my head right now about how Kira look. Man, let me tell y'all, that that is... that. <laughs> That belong in the Louvre and the Guggenheim. No, okay. hey, wait, 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 take down wait. Venus. We put up Kira and be like, oh, I'll travel ring, to go see ring. her. I'll go so travel. You got back right now. Right. 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 This, is, this is why. This is why I need Blur's Eye View after dark for this type of stuff right here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like Venus was gonna go right back to brownies. I was like, eh, we I, um, um, we're not talking um, about the brownies. I, no brownies. Back to you by. Dick nope, Crushers 2022. But... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. We, we wow. got a, so, and, and, and on that note, uh, we got a special yeah, guest. guest. <laughs> <laughs> Alter Ego, <laughs> Alter Ego Arts. His name is a limb legged. He got a new project out, uh, Sweet Pea and, and Purple Haze, which is actually dope. Uh, we'll be oh, talking man. about that later. What's going on, a limb? Hey man, what's going on? Hi, what's going on, going on man? We got him. Hi, going Mr. On. Leggett. <laughs> How you guys are you doing? This <laughs> you have entered into the zone, my friend. Stand at by this, to stand this rate, by. At this rate, to fall. Oh, I'll punch you. <laughs> you're, you're, oh, you're, it, oh you're I will buy it. I can you see you tomorrow. I know where you live. Forget about it. I will say, take the risk. Take the risk. Okay. Wait, wait. That's good work. How does uh, how does the boy say it in Inglorious Batters? Risk is his own reward. It's 
Y'all, let me tell you, Tafari was on his game, but he could not navigate it for nothing. He was hitting me up every time. He was like, Navy, huh? Where you at? I'm in the Hilton. Where's the Hilton? Okay, where you at? I'm in a hotel. Okay, I need I need reference. And he would tell me, and oh my gosh, it was fun. He had to tell you himself because it was hilarious. How, how many uh, hotels? You talking about Dragon Con is five hotels. Yeah. Damn. Where where is it? What city is that in? It's in Atlanta. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta add that to my go-to. Oh, Dragon list. is everything. They they capped at 70,000 this year. Wow. 70, 70,000 but wow. what's great is because the con isn't in a venue so you walk and between the hotels the programming all of that is within the hotels I the vendors say, room alone is three floors Damn. i wow. will say that the parade videos that will shut up oh. by uh i think it was freaky whip whooped and do whoop de do and she Whoopsie was showing freaking do shout out yeah. to her she stalked me out she, I, she's amazing is, she had is also she has some, honest she's honestly do I look like I give a fuck? That's that's also. Really <laughs> <laughs> I love what this. So she, I, love, I was like, yeah, no one ever has. I've never seen anybody do like do the entire parade to that degree. And every version I've seen in that parade is looked great. Like mm -hmm. it's just fun. I'm like, now that's a parade I can watch. I'm not big on parades. I'm not big mm -hmm. on fireworks, but that's, that's a parade I will watch for Dragon Con. I was in the parade once, and I'm gonna tell you that is there's nothing like it, really. It it's especially when people are just thank you, out. thank you, mm -hmm. thank you for for doing that. So she gives the waves. As she, she's doing. You may not see it, but she's she's doing her princess wave not, as not, she should, not, as she wave. should, sweetheart. You was on it, and she is sweetheart, y'all. Oh my god. So, yeah, it, it was actually it was actually dope to see that, and I'm like, I'm showing my wife. I'm like, see. <sighs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did see a lightsaber Chris. with your name on it though. <laughs> oh, at the con, I, I saw a lightsaber so for, with your name on it. For for those who are in the world watching us or listening, I don't go to Dra Dragon Con for the simple fact that it falls on my anniversary. Yes, mm -hmm. and there is no way, no scheming, no planning. <laughs> don't do it, sir. There's there's no Nick Fury level of of planning that I can do, <laughs> no okay. Loki schemes that I can pull off, or Peter Quill that will make this work. <laughs> and oh, I will. Cool. I thought you, you, Dragon Con three days, ain't it? No, it's five. It's five, five and a half days. Five, days. It's five and a half you days. Swing that. <laughs> One day for <laughs> hotel. It's from, and, and, it's and, from and, Thursday and to thing. Monday. I I'm I'm the type of guy. I'm, I'm gonna go one day. No, nah, Chris, I told you how to swing this. I told you how to swing this. Now, I can't promise you won't be broke after you're done, <laughs> but you'll be able Jay to. Said, go. What up, fam? What's up, Jay? Hey. Uh, <laughs> Just nah, an immediate <laughs> international trip over over water, warm waters will cure everything. I promise you. Mm. <laughs> cure? <laughs> that means yes. there's. There's because a fever she's gonna be of sick pumping. while she's there. <laughs> that's, a hell of, that's a hell of a dice roll. That's all I'm saying. Yep. That's so far hit, hell of a dice roll. So far hit the nail on the head because the Hilton was where we were stomping. And he did was, say that. He did say mm, he was like, we I found the black spot. It was like mm. wherever the black people are, that's the black spot. And, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that means it was you a Hilton for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the. <laughs> That you said they said the, the Caribbean, Caribbean is the, the Caribbean is the South. We know what we <laughs> speak of, sir. Listen okay. to the tribe of women at your disposal. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm, speak of women. You know what? Here's the thing. I am conniving enough to try it. I am. I know. Do <laughs> please do it. Do this it. This is what we're gonna. Do this is how we do this, do honey. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Hear me out. I think like you have the Johnny Cochran this. All right. But we can do this. Plus, we got family down there, so we can, you know. And then we get on the plane. So you you, you realize you have, to, you have to hard sell the stay just to get to the Caribbean part. I, I'll be like, look, it's just Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Nobody goes on Sunday. You got a huh? hard sell. You got a hard sell that thing like the last key on the car lot that nobody Man. wants. <laughs> I'm sorry, you a skill cute. set. It's yeah. a skill set. Look, it's literally, and I know myself very well to say, if I was to pull something like that off, I would go into that airplane bathroom, 
look in the mirror and say, you slick son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. All the fucking I'm man. sorry, Lenny. I, I hate no kids, but just, point, just, just painting the picture is all I'm saying. I hate no kids. Wait, I got a you know, kid, we too. What we don't want kids looking at us like, hey, and we're not going to spot you all. <laughs> He's a, yeah, exactly. It was, I pull it up like, where's the wallet? It's <laughs> just the George Jetson. It's the Jetson's oh, over. Wow, mm-hmm. that's a go. throwback. <laughs> she leave you a twenty. She take the bill for and run. <laughs> yep. All the twenties for you. That's nice. Look, I, I, I like much. turn around, give you a five instead. <laughs> Survive. I, I like, I like, I like Black Panther. I love Black Panther. I love Batman. And those two people plan for the plan for the plan. So <laughs> I'm just like. Backups. <laughs> All hey, backups. Got, you got 365. That's 365 ways to get a plan going. I'm just saying. <laughs> there you get, go. Get a whiteboard and some yarn and start working that thing out. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Make like the red yarn. <laughs> <laughs> you got this it. The only thing, the only thing is, this isn't the Black Panther wallet. We got you. No, I had to get a new one. <laughs> the, the MCU uh, are planning next year's anniversary trip. Just, just it was like I'm gonna I'm talk. I'm gonna call up Kevin Feige. So that whiteboard you had. This is how we do this, right? This Ooh, is over here and here, nice. right? I know. Okay, nice. Okay. That. Okay. That. Mm-hmm. See, because well, I know you had that problem. That's where you had your there. problem. But see, I figured out a way around that. You, so, you, <laughs> you gotta get between phase one and phase two, like by, by phase by one and phase two. By the time we get to two, she's gonna be knowing something. It's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> that uh, stretch between phase one and phase two. It's gonna be the Charlie Day meme when he's talking about there is no Carol in HR with Pepe Sylvia. It's just <laughs> everything everywhere. All at once. Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Who's ready for some news? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> So this movie pretty much ruled the summer, in my opinion, and that was Spider-Man Across the Mm Spider-Verse. And even now, with it being on digital and Blu-ray, there are still a ton, a ton of Easter eggs Mm -hmm. that we missed due to how quick the camera shot was. Hell, Spider Society alone is packed Mm -hmm. with Easter eggs. I've they just showed one earlier this week where he's on the other he's on Earth 42. And we hear J. Jonah Jameson and we hear about the 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 Sinister Six Society doing their thing, which you don't see and because they it's such a quick thing. Mm-hmm. Is they own buildings. The Sinister Six were owning actual buildings, businesses mm-hmm. named mm-hmm. after like mm-hmm. I'm like, I ain't talking just Oscorp, I'm talking about Scorpion. Had a had a building. Uh, who else was it? It was Scorpion. Shocker, Shocker, Shocker had a building. building. Uh, it was a couple other ones, but the Rhino, I think one, yeah, yeah, Vulture had one, and I think Rhino was one on there. Yeah, there were way too many Easter eggs to count, and these are one of those things where you actually. I'm one of those guys. I love Easter eggs out of a film, you know, because even with Guardians of the Galaxy volumes one through three, James Gunn even said, "Yeah, there's still an Easter egg nobody's talked about in the first volume." And I'm like, the fuck was it? <laughs> and that's how you send a whole bunch of people to rewatch the movie all over again, frame by frame. Just made it, just made it easy for you. <laughs> just made it easy. It's like, but yeah, those are is the is that type of is it's a great film. Animation, story, the whole nine. Great film, but good lord, you never know what you're missing out on. And it it I don't care how keen of an eye you have. You want to watch it just mm-hmm. for that alone, just for that alone, and it shows like awesome, awesome. And, like I have it, and I still have to keep watching it over and over because I'm like, it's so good. You miss stuff. <laughs> it's the, the Spider-Man indie that always gets me. Just the <sighs> why you call it Chai T? The damn, <laughs> the damn handshake. That Spider-Man India and Hobie Brown shared was the mm-hmm. handshake that LeBron and, and Kyrie Irving were doing when they were playing for the Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. I wouldn't have never 
ever thought about that. And when they played it side by side, and I'm like, yeah, oh, good. Pay these writers, pay these VFX, uh, <laughs> pay these people. They put oh, in I'm, work. I'm pretty sure somebody's looking at Bob Iger like Bob. Uh, you you ain't winning this. You ain't winning this. Yeah. I, I think you need to go ahead and break break up that checkbook. I'm just I'm just saying. Do you, do you see what happened with across Spider Verse? Do, do you see? Wait a minute. They, it, 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 Bob, look, <laughs> we know we brought you back because the other dude fucked up. But yeah, like Bob, 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 but come on. Bob. <laughs> she says it's the coordinates Bob. in the first film. Interesting. Really? In uh, volume one of Guardians. Oh, now. Really? <laughs> back down the rabbit hole. Oh, here we nope. go. <laughs> nope. I am not, no, you are not about to have to do that tonight, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I'm a dog with a bone. It's too late. So let me ask you, is Wait. it true that um the Across the Spider-Verse has multiple uh multiple versions? Oh, yes. yeah. Multiple that, versions. That. Even, Metro, board, even Metro, even Metro Boomin money. has one. And mm-hmm. he and talk about someone who's making money off a soundtrack is Metro hey. Boomin. Like two soundtracks already for this film. He's making like that's a, you, Metro. I'm just like, oh, this is about to be <laughs> this is about to be a hit. <laughs> it's about to be a hit. He, he, went, he went from saying Metro Boomin to just Metro. That's how you know you made it in life. When you can shorten your name down to almost a letter. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. This, I'm like, this, this is about to be a guaranteed hit. I'm like, who is he? Don't know. Don't care. I just know I like the music at this point. <laughs> Are there two versions of the the um, the DVD? Well, it's not a DVD, but the DVD oh. too? Oh, that's what, that's I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. 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 Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'd be they mad. literally took that whole spiel of variant and ran with it. Mm, it is probably mm. up to this day next to Kiki Palmer and Usher is probably the biggest play. Uh, <laughs> no, there's 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 genius uh, and then there's on, genius. on her ex boyfriend too soon. <laughs> that was uh, the great. That was one of the greatest marketing pools I've ever seen. That's why I call Usher the villain of R&B. <laughs> the man still wins. <laughs> what he still wins. It's yeah, like, he didn't even say anything. He didn't, he didn't do anything. They, they're still didn't. together. They, yeah, they, no. no one's he, talked about leaving anywhere. <laughs> no. like, that was the wild part. Everybody, that, the whole other side of social media just went into that frenzy and Usher's like, I will just take my check and my plate, and I will sit down and watch. <laughs> Absolutely. And that and he Why played not? the role. He, he mm-hmm. baby daddy did exactly that. He was like, "No, baby, you got this. Mm-hmm. I think it's fantastic." As a matter of fact, to make it, because we put a little sprinkle, a little, little, let, little let, pizzazz. Let, 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 let put a little pepper <laughs> on this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna act <laughs> like I'm a little jealous. <laughs> uh, oh, boy, what, that, what was the name of the video that came out that she was a part of? Uh, your, your boyfriend hates me or wants to see me. Something yeah, like that. just the yeah. icing on the cake. Just. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm just like, he's like, I could take the hit. They ain't gonna remember me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> they ain't gonna remember me. Oh my god. So yeah, um, news has been coming out, and I don't know how big a fan you guys are, but I loved Agents of Shield mm-hmm. from the from day one. My goodness. Yeah. Well, now Marvel's going to have a timeline book that comes out that states if they're a part of the family and where do they fit on the timeline. Now, we know Phil Coulson was in the movie, in the Avengers. He mm-hmm. he was kind of the linchpin from Iron Man all the way up until that point. Yeah. We just need to know where do they fit on the timeline? Are they... are Is it a... Because we know... Spoiler alert! By the time the series ended, the Phil Coulson we got is not the Phil Coulson we started with. True. Nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like we're just like, where does it stand on that whole thing? I mean, I'm very even. That's like one of those unanswered questions. Wasn't the show following the events of the movies up until? Um, when I think up dark, until Dark World, Civil War, up until Dark World, yeah, up until Dark World, up until Dark World, Thor, Dark, Dark World was, was I think the last one, yeah, it was, it was the last one because okay. they had a they had a they had something happening on a, one of their seasons when they were dealing with Hydra and yeah. it stretched over mm-hmm. and it stretched over to Age of Ultron, mm-hmm. but then like mm-hmm. what season five or season six they went far into the future, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah that whole so storyline, is that where that disconnect I mean, is now. 
And we, even, we, uh, I think so because th- this whole the whole space storyline it really threw me off. It's like that. Yeah, you killed yeah. the continuity of the original story. They're Earthbound yes. with everything going on, but yes. now you've got them in space with the destroyed Earth. Okay, make it make sense, y'all. Mm-hmm. Who's on? They did. Who, they did a much on better story. Back when they in time this. for the last season and was going like doing that weird uh, Sony uh X Men <laughs> thing where they would go decades and shit. So yeah. Uh, yeah. It is like they, they 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 definitely did in humans much better than in humans. Um, they, oh 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 oh! I thought she was about to be like the Inhumans was off the hook or something like that. Because like, oh god no, it was off the hook, but not in that no. front. Jesus, I know no, I'm not that well versed, but even I know that Inhumans was. <laughs> <laughs> no. I I just know that that is just one film or a show that I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> Why? It, where are the dark. agents at? Like we 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 we've done in humans line, but where is the rest? Ooh, and why? Why? It didn't make any that's sense. Gonna be they didn't tie it in to the one agent that was in Agents of Shield. That was completely anyway. I mean, you know, bad 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 times be forgotten. Bad times exactly. What's <laughs> exactly. such a great time to bring it back? <laughs> they are they very much well could do that they, they have an opportunity I, you know to kind of like start peppering it back in like because technically shield's not gone sword's still around and saber is still around yeah I'm not saying there's not remnants not. of agents floating around it's just yeah he word is floating mm. <laughs> 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 she, says, she says hot rotisserie garbage. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh-huh. I gotta remember that. Don't, don't, don't do rotisserie that bad. Don't do rotisserie that bad. Okay, how about how about a vomit part. sandwich? How about that? A who? A vomit other, sandwich. How other, about that? other other than Black Bolt <laughs> and his brother, mm-hmm. the rest of the sh- the rest of the Inhuman show was just in locked in locked jaw. It was just poorly. Yeah. It was just poorly written. Yeah, it was yeah. written by somebody that didn't look at the source material. That's all yeah. it was. It was hard to. It was really, and I, I'm glad it was like a mini series because no wonder they decided like, are, are we doing this as a movie or? They did put it out in the movie theaters though. I think the first two episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first two episodes. Mm-hmm. Poor people who um, used that money for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my god! So everybody's familiar with 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 Tubi. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You I... <laughs> I don't know he said, that he, he said to me I thought about every, I thought about every terrible sh- uh special effects scene <laughs> to me the home of hood <laughs> movies uh, <laughs> wow. no they have a couple gems on there they do and mm-hmm. you know I had a chance to rewatch Hellboy 2019. The one with David Harbor, mm-hmm. Harbor, and that long ago, yeah. I, 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 I really know. Know. so here's the thing. Here's the thing about about that that film. It's not completely trash. It, it wasn't. I, it, I, was, I, it was different. It was different. It was, I, I liked I what they were it. doing. I liked the vibe. I liked the whole horror vibe. I liked that they amped up the, the violence level a little bit. Mm-hmm. The scene where he's fighting the giants and you notice his right hand switches to his right to his left just for a split second, mm-hmm. you know, that was a hang up. I think as I watched that movie, I said, I think I know what the issue is. It's the same thing that happened with uh, BBS. It was a lot of characters being brought in that no one had seen in previous movies mm-hmm. or even known about, even in the source material. Like, they had a like Alice, you know. They mm-hmm. brought in Alice. They brought in uh, 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 what is his name with the lobster claw? The claw, lobster, uh, Johnson. lobster Johnson. Yeah. yeah, they brought him like, but it was such a back, it was such a boom backstory done. Walk away, you know. Alice, here it is. Oh, she they gave him quick backstories, and it was like you're throwing a lot, there's a lot going on. So, so it was really just fast forward. Yeah. I'm- because I did like character. I like the fact they brought in Ben Dynamo. I was like, 
oh, so you brought in you brought in the agent, you brought in the M11 agent. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And yeah. at the same time, the blood, you know, you brought yeah, back one of the mm. premier enemies, the Blood Queen. But like you said, you can't really explain a story if you're stuck on fast forward. Yeah, mm. and I and they did a lot of introductions. Like I'm like, a person who hasn't read a Hellboy comic will not know any of these people or yeah. any kind of tie in and it was like you're bringing them in so fast cuz it already has a movie set it has already has a fan base as far as the live action is concerned it has a fan base thanks to Ron Perlman so it, the fan base is there you already got to win them over because he's not playing that role david arbor did a great job mm-hmm. uh, you know yeah I didn't have a problem with him as Hellboy. I really didn't have a problem with him as Hellboy. I didn't have a problem with none of the characters. It's just, I see what happened. You're introducing this character, and you're introducing this character, and it's like, boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. You don't have any time to, to care about the them. The care, the connect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, like I the think the, and the, of and the, the, the movie's supposed to be about him. Like, I don't need all this filler. Okay. I want right. to know about that's the whole reason why I came to see the movie is about him. Yeah, put in a couple of other ca- if you want to put new characters in to replace the two other sidekicks that were in the, the yeah, first set of movies. Yeah, like Abe and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you can't give me 30. <laughs> 30 <laughs> like after, after you, Yeah, like after you introduced the, the England branch of the people of the giant killers. Yeah. I was fine with that. Even Mila Jovovich's yeah. Blood Queen. I was fine with that. You know, you could have just had this was this adventure, but everything's starting to wrap around this. Why are they after him? Because it's got something to do with her and him bringing in Apocalypse. You started bringing in all this extra stuff. And that goose and the Easter egg at the, at the very end. Yeah, very, yeah with eight. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, and which was fine. But once again, too much, too fast. You know, it was like you got to spoon feed it to these people. I mean, because other than other than that, it looked great. Like even by today's standards, you know, you know some of the CGI, even the practical effects, and I'm like, this doesn't look bad. I mean, the theme, the theme that they had wasn't wasn't bad either. The undertones and the message itself, it's just it it got lost in the sauce though. Exactly. It, it did get okay. Lost. Mm-hmm. Just what right. just what yeah, just J1, what J yeah. one said. It came out at the wrong time. They made it too heavy for the fan base, and it wasn't made for the average viewer. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't. <clears throat> now, when you mentioned about the horror aspect, you know, the first the first movie that popped up in my head was New Mutants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I that really bothered me. Although I don't, I don't hate the fact that they tried to go in a different direction with a superhero group. But why strictly horror and suspense when you haven't even introduced these characters in the first place? Now you've put them in the horror facet instead mm-hmm. of putting them into the Marvel superhero world facet because they're a mutant group. This would have been the perfect time to flesh out a new set of characters and give them life instead of putting them in literally the story that came out in issue two, which is the demon bear. Exactly. One, of, said, the great, one of their greatest stories. Yes. Mm-hmm. Looking phenomenal, but this is how you introduce, you know, people like Cannonball and Wolfsbane and and, and Magic, Sunspot, and and, and, and Lockheed, and just, yeah, all of these characters. I mean, come on. And that was that. That's and as far as that one is concerned, I, I'm like, that was during the acquisition. Disney was in the middle of the acquisition for Fox, and I'm like, just just mention the X Men correctly, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You you have Colossus sister right there. Like it's you can you can get away with it. Use it. Use it as the crutch if you need to. You oh, know, no, that makes sense. But yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> what happened was what is what happened to Warner Brothers, except they didn't cut their losses and and try to you know <laughs> recoup the money back. They just put it out and said, "Well, fuck, we're here. We did mm-hmm. it. Might as well f- throw it on the wall and see what sticks." Because we got to lose money anyway. We might as well try to make some of it back, but you nobody had, thought you had a, you had a great opportunity in a movie that had the like 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 Navy said. I didn't have a problem with them taking that horror route. That would have been an, an amazing step for them, you know. If they if, if it they wasn't had the first gone, step, yeah. I, I I think if they had gone along the line and really committed to it and did like a bright burn, 
Mm-hmm. Then that would yeah, be money. that yeah, would have been a phenomenal yeah yeah. What did yes. Brightburn do that the Mutants didn't do? Have, talk about um, a James talk Gunn about it. it. Yeah, exactly, James Gunn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Talk about yeah. a movie that made you want more you, out of what? sheer out of sheer yeah. curiosity. Yeah, because when you yeah. find out, you're just like, "Yo, this kid is the evil fucking Superman." Mm-hmm. And you're telling me there's more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you had the opportunity to create another universe. You did. Give viewers an option, a choice. Because mm-hmm. Marvel and DC, for all of their fantastic characters and everything else, there's too much. Mm-hmm. It's overkill. Yeah. yeah. You know, I want to mm-hmm. see Image do more with their universe. I want to see other companies mm-hmm. do more. Like Image, come on. Spawn was the first one to get them going. And then when the MTV, they had um the, Ma- had Pitt, max. the the max and and all these other characters okay so let's create a universe out of these so people can like hey there's other superheroes other than people who wear red and blue and people who are mm-hmm. black and wearing black suits and moody and 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 people who swim with the fishes that can talk to them there is other people hmm. <laughs> hmm. jay jason said uh, new mutants was dry felt like it was trying to be a cw show you can, you can... I was picking that up too. Yeah. Uh, you could tell they were trying to do what Gun did with GOTG by taking non popular team and make them something. Yeah, it was a lot of reshoots for that movie. It was a oh, lot. Oh yes, of reshoots. Dry is being nice. I, I, I <laughs> oh my gosh, we're talking yeah, about how exactly. Desert. You're right. You're exactly that, that spawn. The spawn. The spawn show yeah. on HBO Oof. is peak. Mm-hmm. Is peak. I rushed home. I worked at a bar at that time. And I'm like, it's Friday night. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> slow. This show comes on at noon at, at 12 midnight. I need to be, mm-hmm. I need to be on it. Then they, they had live action and animated series, didn't they? Yeah. They, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. when I keep David, when this strike is over, please come mm-hmm. visit this platform. Uh, so we can give you your flowers properly, my brother. Man. Yes. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> kind so, sir. Please. Jesus, so many ways. Mr. Uh, you know what I mean? Time, time. That'd be the whole time. That'd be the whole time doing show. Like, sir, uh, no, you can call me, you can call me Keith. No, 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 sir. I can't. <laughs> I cannot, sir. I can Mr. D. Mr. <laughs> Mr. D, please. <laughs> like, you know how many times I've used the term. Oh, come on. Take a poor sinner's hand. You know how many times I've said that? <laughs> now, no, see, no, that, that's what that's part of the brain gets stuck in my head. Nope. This is an honor of Kira. <laughs> Kira, this is an honor of you because, I, you know, I didn't bring a bottle. I got my glass here. You know, it's, <laughs> it's got the libation in it. So I'm sorry. I'm not as on the level I... as you. I was looking and I was like, huh, do I get up and get the bottle? You better go get that damn <laughs> bottle, girl. What's wrong with you? It would be How does he say it? It would behoove me if you didn't get the bottle. It was. I I think I will be emboldened. I will be right back. You should have been gone. Why are you still here? Let's go. Be behooved and behold. You be holding to be hooved. But yeah. I think that Spawn is literally and should be as uh, as top tier as Batman the animated series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. It, it was it was it was it was bold because HBO had never done something like that. Mm-hmm. So it and shout bold. out to them for taking that chance too, because yeah. Showtime yeah. wasn't taking that chance. Cinemax was trying to show everybody naked booty cheeks after uh-huh. ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So. When so I <laughs> you laugh because you know what I'm talking about. Red yeah. shoe diaries. I was say. <laughs> oh, we talk about diaries. Talk about cab confessions. How about that? Cab confessions. <laughs> Lady <laughs> Chatterley. <laughs> <family, laughs> Lady Shut Chatterley up. had lovers, horses, everything. Lady oh, Chatterley oh, shoes. Like, what the heck? Was you watching with horses? <laughs> what Cinemax? Come yeah. on now. Come on, Cinemax, they didn't give a damn, okay? They was like, it's you, booty you cheeks know, and it's British. We're going to put yes. it on here. <laughs> no, no, David, David, you know, you, David, you know you made when all you heard was the yeah. following presentation is adult-rated content. I was like, yeah. Ooh. When, you heard, when you've heard that. It's called Skinny Max. <laughs> Skinny Max. My bad. Definitely That's Skinny right. Max. Yeah. My bad. I remember cable when you had a box and you had a little, you had the dial. It didn't turn. It went right across the back and forth. <laughs> 
You had the knob. I had the <laughs> See, <laughs> Lane, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah. look, I'm gonna change the TV. <laughs> look here, break your box my... or break your ass. Oh, okay. Look, <laughs> there was a time where, like, if you got cable and like whatever you watched in one room, it showed up in the other. Like, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> my mother was so she was nah. like, oh, they're watching something got no toy. Look, my son, when my son when my son was coming up now he, my son's a big gamer big anime nerd big gamer everything right yeah, and we stayed in a home. we stayed in a two apartment uh, up and down uh home at that time so the, na- the neighbor downstairs she had went out with her, her dude and she's like well can her son you know stay the night with us we like yeah that's cool you know they was in the, they the same age you know so they were playing the game and then my son he passes out going around he passes out mm-hmm. Uh-oh. So his friend slept in the living room. Well, the TV is on in our bedroom. And my wife fell asleep. Well, my back is to the television, but I see the flash on the wall, and I noticed it kept flickering. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. That fuzzy channel. <laughs> and, and, and I laughed. I, I, you know, I don't know if this kind of if this makes me a bad father or what, but I laughed and went on to sleep. Because <laughs> I knew, no, no, I knew no, what it, it was. I don't I was care. Just, anyway, yeah. We all did it. It was a channel you couldn't see. You were looking at it sideways. I wasn't, I wasn't about to get yeah, it. The audio, the channel you couldn't see, but the audio was crisp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong though. So tell me, dear lady, what would you like to do this evening? Like, I want to see what he's doing. Like, <laughs> and I and only got up once because I was like, let me see who in the living room. My son was in the bedroom, knocked out. So I was mm-hmm. like, all right, his, his little boy is over there in the room. And I went on back to bed. And I noticed that flickering again. I just giggled. And when I just like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to be a fun morning. That's going to be a fun tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, I, I told my wife. I told my wife. She was like, well, why didn't you say something? I said, because we've all done it. I would I would be a wow. hypocrite if I got on the board. <laughs> wow. I'm going to be a hypocrite. I'm like, I'm, I'm being true to myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Early cable was what got me hip to a lot of the Monty Python movies. <laughs> oh, the Holy, the Quest for the Holy Grail. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Time Bandits is my joint, man. I love that movie. Return what you have stolen from me. Oh my god. That is god. a movie that, as a kid, it weirded me out. What time? I did not, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. as a kid, because I wasn't. I'm like, I was. I'm still into like time travel stuff. Mm-hmm. But as a kid, I'm like, it was throwing me because I wasn't used to British humor. Ah, uh, gotcha. So as I got older and seen it again, and I'm like, I get that. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That tracks. I got it. You know, it's like, I, I, I said one time I saw him. <laughs> I said the same thing oh, about yeah. him, so I realized, oh, oh, okay. I, I, Sean I Connery looks Imagine, young. Imagine, 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 yeah. Sean Connery looks young and Time Bandits. No one talks about this movie. That was one of my favorite roles, man. When he Sean was Sean <laughs> Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> Oh, man. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to our guest, Aleem Leggett, a.k.a. He's part of the Altered Arts or Altered, what is it? Altered, altered Ego Arts. Ego arts. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wanting to say comics because I keep thinking about your comic. But <laughs> return what you have stolen from me. <laughs> but we, we're going to be, we'll be right back. We're going to talk about he's got a dope project that I got a chance to read. With sweet pink and purple haze, and I, I'm just like, yo, this. Kira, you're muted, sweetie. <laughs> I get you a copy too. <laughs> let me let me throw my name in the hat. I want one. I didn't... Too. Let me throw my name in the hat. Come on. Man. I I hope you're not offended, but your your comic is very it's it's very visually appealing. I won't say pretty, even mm-hmm. though that's what I just said. <laughs> Did you say that in German? Oh. What the hell? <laughs> it's pretty. It's good. It's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The art is very well right done. What do you want me Until to you unmute it, it's like, oh, it's beautiful. You did kind of, you did kind of, you was kind of snapping on the mute, Kira. You, you had the whole head. You had the whole head thinking like, what you mean? What? Say what you meant to say. That's her. That's her holstering her trigger. That's all it is. We'll be right back. <laughs> This just in. Feeling groggy in the morning? Coffee just can't give you that pep in the step that you're looking for? Try Pop Starts for that great get up and go that adults need. Pop Starts has the vitamin and nutrients that only grown ups can partake in. And with flavors such as 
toss salad and scrambled eggs and Jack Daniels and Bud Light flavors to start your day or end it. There's nothing better to wake up to unless you count that depressing cubicle job. Well, anyway, try Pop Starts today. Pop Starts is not part of the Kellogg's Corporation. Pop Starts could give you diarrhea. Pop Starts are not found in your local grocery store. Now, can I have that music, right. please? Because that, 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 <laughs> that, that track, fire. and I don't say that, that because track. a lot of music just sounds the same, but that was that was fire. That was oh, absolute yeah. fire. Yeah, that's um that's Blue Benji's by a franchise. He, he's a Philly artist. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find him um Fran Daddy SP on Facebook. Uh I, I I'll find his Instagram for you and put it in the chat before the end of the show. This so, is why I appreciate this young man. He brings so, up references. Bravo, fam. This <laughs> Sweet Pea and Purple Haze. I read this comic. I wasn't expecting this story. <laughs> I was, I was, I was heartbroken at first, and then I'm like, I need to see where this is going <laughs> because, like, I have questions. So, let's talk about Sweet Pea and Purple Haze. How'd you come up with this concept? Oh man, so. This book is about, well, really, it's about, we have, um, you know, these young kids out inside of the city where we at is going through a lot and dealing with a lot. So I'm kind of putting a spin on what they're experiencing in the environment that they're in without kind of hitting off any uh, stereotypes or anything like that. So you mm -hmm. see the replacement with the, uh, you know, the events that's happening, the monsters coming in and the, and the invasion and all of that other stuff. Yeah, Purple Hey, my man, Frank Percy. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that's how so, I came up with the concept of it there. So tell the people what it, what's what's the concept, what's the concept of this story? OK, so um, so on the surface, it it look like um, like a Disney story almost. Right. Well, the first issue anyway, because you got the little little scrap of a diary page for the title is the, the cover might give away a little bit, but you get kind of like a disconnect between what's being presented and what's inside because you got this kid that should be living like a normal 14 year old kid's life, but she's mm -hmm. getting thrust into these, this crazy situation. And like, you know, her father's her rock and her anchor inside of the world and everything. And, you know, like you get these kind of clashing, identities of, of of what should be and, and what is so uh yeah I'm, you you know that i'm trying not to spoil anything oh no 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 yeah yeah i got you <laughs> we, we got it. i got you uh, because and, that, and that's what i can appreciate about this story is because you you have this father-daughter dynamic where mm -hmm. she's what like 14 and she's a typical 14 year old and he's 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 a very loving father you know mm -hmm. he's very protective of his daughter he, he looks out for her. you know he, he just seems like a, a strong black man he's, right. he's just protecting his home protecting his family doing what he needs to do and then literally all hell breaks loose <laughs> yeah and so yeah. but there's a scene and i'm just like no <laughs> <laughs> And it, it was all going so well. It was going so well. I'm like, yeah, he's gonna yeah, what? <laughs> it's a little bit of a yoink. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, like, where's the rug? It's gone. But I I really love this 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 story. I really do. And 
you've got some other characters. You got some dope art on top of that. Like I seen some Ninja Turtles art you did. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I'm like, hey, hey, Stop. all all of them though. <laughs> I'm <just> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I like this. I like. I, I need more. Um, what other projects are you working on? So issue two of the, uh, that video, actually, that was the the world premiere of the um of the of the video that we just saw earlier. Issue two of Sweet Pea is going to launch tomorrow afternoon on Kickstarter. Um, Sweet Pea Sons of Adam is the title of this one, so you can look for that. And I've just been going to you know a lot of conventions and still doing my painting thing and trying to get more fan art together. And you know like because. I do a lot of original art and um, just like black community, black, uh, you know, uh, focused art, which, you know, like some people love it and be surprised when they see it. But a lot of people were looking for Naruto or, you know, okay. like Batman or, or whatever. So we're I got to get that. We, we different over here in the blur community. We <laughs> although, although I got you we respect different. That. I have respect for Afro Luffy though. I saw that when I was like, oh, the Afro Luffy, like yeah, Afro Luffy. Well, that was good. Yeah, see, so that's why I like. I like to try to be. Um, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it in a way that that I'm pleased with at the end of the day, and not just you know redrawing something that I'm not familiar with or mm -hmm. you know don't got any real love for. It. So I got big plans for the Straw Hats, man. <laughs> Those are my guys. Uh, <laughs> you're a good, you're a good company. <laughs> mostly and i'm speaking for lady mandalore uh, yeah. this is week number was it day number seven in a row on a, on a two twice a week show <laughs> right. no um they're trying they're trying to convert me to their cult i am it's very not happy. Not it's a strong word of us it's, it's, it's we're just, just we're just welcoming you to the to the fold it's not conversion, conversion. no so this is very very strongly encouraged about? membership did you check out the uh, live action release? <laughs> this is not strongly a clockwork encouraged. orange okay we're not taking you to a milk bar she did she did, that, she okay? did she did watch she did watch the uh, live action mm -hmm. yeah she did yeah. It's cute or whatever. <laughs> no, we Chopper's no. cute. It's, no, it's, cute. It, it's it's actually it is good. I will say it is good. It's it's better than most of the live actions. Than I, I will say it's better than all of the live action anime adaptations that I've seen. Uh -uh. I will give it that. Uh -uh. Mm. But mm. it is also a cult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's the straw hat crew, not a Scientology. Thank Scientology. you, Safari. <laughs> <laughs> not the way, any, but but anyway. But no. So my eyes are drawn to the characters you have hanging up behind you. Yes, yeah. thank you for bringing that up because <laughs> yo, yeah. let me see. Tell us about that. Yeah. So this yeah, is that's, you know that's... this is here we go. This is Imani. Right, that's mm -hmm. our main character, her father Marcus behind her, right? So he serves as her as her protector, you know. And over here in issue two, we're gonna meet Hemba, which is a race of people that are that are hunters. They 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 travel around hunting the people that's in the group that's invading the earth, mm -hmm. right? So she is um I don't want to do her injustice by comparing her to other characters, but she's a fighter, and um, she's really she's really tactical, and she, she's also um, is like going to be Star Star Warsian in a sense. Yeah, you can get a little bit of that. I mean, the helmet the helmet comes off, so she she's um uh, got a little bit of a soaker in it since we since we are. <laughs> You know what I mean? But, um, she's a yeah, Cylon. She's, she's very that's what wise. It is. I mean, she's she is her. I'm just saying, she's her. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, right. <laughs> and you know, she's the type of person that 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 kick your ass and and tell you about yourself at the same time calmly. Oh, so, see, this lady, I man, think, I right think people are going to really like her. <laughs> I, I'm committed. I promise you, I'm committed to the story. So, <laughs> lady, why are you muted? Like <laughs> yeah, lady is muted. muted. <laughs> she's like, oh, oh shoot, lady is muted. I sorry, I started. <laughs> I, I was just saying that that's a black woman right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna you say it. I was like, she when, when you sent it to me and I seen the title, and I'm like, it's giving me 70s vibes just because of the name. It was like Sweet Pea and Purple Haze, and I'm like, this gives me like black exploitation feels. Like I'm watching. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting ready to sit back and watch Black Dynamite. 
And <laughs> and I was I was, but either way, I was I would have been surprised. I would have been enjoying it either way because I love indie comics. Mm. I love blurred centered indie comics more more and more than anything because we have a fresh perspective on a lot of characters. We tell different stories about our characters. We give them completely different power sets Mm -hmm. because let's face it. A lot of power sets that we see from major companies is always water base or electricity. Mm -hmm. It kind of sums it up. It Mm -hmm. kind of sums it up. Yeah. You know, we don't get these off the wall type of storylines and, just a completely different power set of, of, of skills. You know, we need that. Right. We need stuff like the antagonists. I I I prefer to know about a supervillain family <laughs> mm-hmm. that just happen to be black and they mind their own damn business. Um, <laughs> you know, that yep. type of stuff. Yeah, that's why I love it. I love it too for that, man. Just the especially the just happen to be black part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not like they're black. It's a story about black people. Obviously, you can tell that from the cover, but at the same time, it's is that's besides the point to the to the story. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And and that's where we 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 get that from indies. I think more than anywhere else we do. Mm-hmm. And I think I think that story is becoming more and more prevalent. Where it's just like it just happens to be that they're black. It's mm-hmm. no longer like we're 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 running the narrative. Because, you know, the inclusion part, we're just like, all right, whatever. We'll just tell our stories. Right. And we'll tell our stories from our from our standpoint and our viewpoint. Right. Not the token sidekick or or best friend or or none of that Mm -hmm. that nonsense. Yeah. Go ahead. What you say, Lady Matter? If you're not restricted by the the weight of racism, it's magical what kind of stories you can tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Although it's we do love, we do love when Black Panther puts his hands on the clan. I'm just saying <laughs> that does not get old. That does not get old at all. No, no. The, the day I meet Don McGregor, I'm going to shake that man's hand. <laughs> <laughs> who I who from, from what I found out was at Dragon Con. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it's a hop, skip, and a jump to Bermuda. Man. See, you just, you pick you pick this anniversary time, so like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry no, about that. that. That's a risk you just sorry. can't take. It's new, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and this is the person that takes risk. No, <laughs> like, if Will is saying, bro, I might want to listen to Reason. Uh, <laughs> so, you said issue two was getting ready to the Kickstarter for issue two was starting tomorrow, right? Starts tomorrow. Yep, we got early bird specials too, so. You know those first those first forty eight hours. You want to try to get a good push out of there, and I put together some some good deals. I learned a lot from the first one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. So um, you know, in the first campaign, I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning and cleaned it up. We ended up being funded um with a hundred backers. I think it was a hundred at least, and about uh six thousand. So nice. Yeah. Thank you. So this time. We go on, uh, you know, we set the bar. I learned a little bit more. You go a little bit lower. So this time we're trying to reach 4,000, but the sky's the limit. There's no ceiling on on how much you can get. And I know that I don't have to stress as much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have, um, I also been working with uh, Ink Studios. I want to shout them out too because they helped me a lot. They own um, the company that helped make the video there and they helped me put my campaign together. They're, they're, they've been great to you know take a lot of the load off of what i had to do to 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 get a really professional looking campaign together nice. so I uh, you. go ahead so, uh i had a question so Aline, when you created sweet pea and purple haze by far which i i love i absolutely love the names love the names love the title what was your initial goal for creating these characters this universe what was your initial goal because i know all creators have a specific purpose as to why they create these comics and these characters so i'd like to know what yours is all right well i mean sub goal i would like to make um kind of like a proof of concept it's my dream to be be, uh an animated series Mm -hmm. Uh, and i've already taken some steps towards that i talked to uh 
uh, Carl Jones down at DreamCon, Martian Blueberry, man. So he's a great guy. So, you know, like, you know, small that just felt like a step in the right direction. But like I said, that that's a, um, a sub goal. The real point of the characters is try. I'm trying to um, show just the psychological effects, I think, about coming up inside of a violent violent environment and okay. mental health and everything like that. Cause you know, like not to put a damper on the mood, but it's some some dark stuff happens in the hood, man. That kids get mm-hmm. kids get exactly. you know, put up to and it just becomes like an everyday life thing. So even though it's extreme and you know like out of this world what's going on inside of the book is really not that too far out of the imagination of of you know like experiences they know that people and children are going through so focusing a lot focus a lot on mental health things like ptsd and we focus a lot on the effect of of parents inside of their kids lives whether you know Mm. like they're there or they're not there or you know like just the value of, of of that influence inside of inside of their lives and hopefully, you know, like maybe somebody picks up the book and say, damn, I'm really like, <laughs> could be messing these kids up, man. Maybe I should do a little bit better. <laughs> you know, move a little smoother. <laughs> no, but we need more like that because mm-hmm. that is, especially in the black community, that is, mm-hmm. those are hot button issues, you know, mental, yeah. just mental health as overall, because all those effects, all those causes have that effect, you know, right. so that is, that needs to be talked about. It needs to be talked about because we are at a stage now, at least in the black community, we are at a stage now where getting talking to a therapist is necessary. Like it's we're not we're not the ancestors who said, no, that's weird. Don't do that or you'll be fine or go sleep it off or whatever. No, we're not at that. We're not we're not those people anymore. We've accepted the fact that, yeah, you might need to talk to somebody of, of professional background. And preferably our background, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. if, if if possible, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's, it's it's needed. It's okay to seek help outside of the family. Like it's family. Sometimes is the ones that's breaking you. You might. That's, it might. I was about to say that. Yeah. Be be best to seek outside help. You you need somebody. What is it? Um, um, you need somebody to uh, direct all of your outside or inside thoughts to because it's keeping it in is not. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't the look. I promise you, it's not the look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk about it and and, and unpack it. And... Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate we were raised. The majority was like, I know, I I know Chris can relate to this, and I know some, and I definitely know uh, Will can to a certain point where we had the the, the toxic uh, environment, and this was our teacher. This was how we learned our life lessons. This is where we learn that we can't, we're not allowed to be vulnerable. We're not allowed to have emotions. We're not allowed to seek help because if you do, that means you're weak. It means you can't handle life and whatever it throws at you. And we look at it years later and we go, why did they teach me to be this way? Because I can't break this cycle. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I can't. And now my kids are coming into this. So what you're creating, in my opinion, is amazing. Because it's going to present that picture to a lot of the younger generation who think that what they're doing now is normal. To You have that visual and you go, why is this normal? This is hurting the people in our neighborhoods and our communities. Why do we make this normal? This is stupid. We need to fix mm-hmm. this. We need to change this. And, there, so, and even, even when you see stuff on social media and we we talk about it in our chat all the time it was like there's news that comes out of social media that <laughs> we're, just, we're just like really this is this is what we're doing you're like right if i swear to god if i see christian and, and blueface one more damn time I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's crazy it's crazy it's that that's becoming norm that's becoming the norm not, man yeah I'm like i am not worried about their fan base over here because i'm like look if you're watching us, you can't be listening to them. Right. Uh, <laughs> mm. I, I appreciate the elevated IQ of our audience. I, I, <laughs> I do. But you were not to be a snob, not to be a snob about it, huh? 
<laughs> as she as she takes a sip, as she takes a sip, uh, with the pink with the pinky in the air. The pinky was almost up. <laughs> but no, I mean, she it, did it, wine glass, it, so it says that. <laughs> that. <laughs> but it's a but it's a fair point though. You know, as 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 you have to be you have to be conscious of the stories that you tell because again, we don't want to fall into those stereotypes. I mean, I'll I'll say it best. It's like I love Blood Syndicate, but Blood Syndicate kind of repeats the same type of stuff that as irritating as it is, we're kind of, it's reciprocating something that's a stereotype. It doesn't really show anything different. So yeah, it's an irritating story, but in the same case, you are impressing, you are, you are giving younger minds, this is the impression, this is the environment, this is the cycle that we're introducing. So I get the whole idea of just wanting to do different stories just because number one, we've never had them. And number two, yeah, younger generation. They're going to they're going to mm-hmm. take what we're seeing and they're going to run with it. This depends mm-hmm. on are they running with it in a different direction or are we just repeating the same stories all over again? It's like a, it's like a Tyler Perry movie on repeat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think when I see stories like Sweet Pea and Purple Haze mm-hmm. or uh, 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 even Eve Ewing who's working on Black Panther and how that storyline is going right now where like there's stuff that's being included that has never been thought before or uh, even, even Nicholas Draper's uh, run on static showing start, showing a different dynamic that resonates with the blurred community because we at some level we've lived it or know someone who has mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so it's definitely necessary and shout out to Nicholas Draper mm-hmm. having a chance to talk with him that young man you you as he's describing the the story and what he's trying to go with it you felt everything coming from him and i'm i'm a, I'm a fan i'm genuinely a fan i actually i have a question for you Lim. yep what was the turning point for you i don't know if i've asked this any anyway what was the turning point for you to decide that you wanted to actually make this comic because i i feel like everybody has that moment where it's like you know what fuck it i gotta do it you know, mm-hmm. no matter the 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 end result, I, I have to put this out. Do you have a moment or do you have like a turning point for you where you're like, I have to get this done? Yeah, well, see, for me, that that moment happened when I realized that it was a possibility for me to actually do it. <laughs> you know what I mm-hmm. mean? Like, like it may sound weird, but this has been something telling these stories and creating these stories is something that I've always done. You know, even since childhood, I drew up characters, I, you know, invented, you know, just the backstories of them and interactions between them and everything like that. And then that was the end of it. And the the cartoons that was on TV and the animes and the, and, and the comic books and all of that was just Somebody else, some you know, in some far off land was was making those. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even think that it was a possibility for me until 2020. You know, so wow, really? So I'm on this. So yeah, I'm on the like same boat with you. 2020, man. I like, and you know, that like that, it goes way. that way <laughs> for us, unfortunately. And I think that's changing now with um with younger generations. That you know, like it's just clicking that we can do a lot of a lot of shit, man. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's not impossible for us to do these things. Oh yeah, and um, you know, like that's why I love to see those kids on YouTube. That's that's um, you know, blowing up with their channels because they're doing like the they making movies and stuff like that from off of their cell phones and, and mm-hmm. blowing up off of them. And I I love to see it, and it really like it warms my heart to see them out there getting it because. It's dreams that I had that I see other people fulfilling, and I hope that somebody will see this and realize that, you know, like, if you want to make a comic book, because I know there's thousands of people out there with stories, you can make one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if, you know, like, you build yourself a team, you know, one paycheck at a time, you set aside a couple of dollars, and, you know, you make the sacrifice to build what you want to build, and and it'll take you places once you, you know, once you put your heart into it and, and do it. I've been know to a ton of new places and and, see, and met people and talk to people after making this book you know uh, I, mean, I got in the room with Carl Jones from the Boondocks man <laughs> like you're, you're that's talking, crazy 
You're talking to people. We've had him on. Yeah. We've talked to him in person. We we know that's I, what that's why I when was, you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah. I was at Blurred Con. I was at Blurred Con with you, and that was my very first like in person second major in person interview was with him. So I trust okay. me. The energy, yeah. I know what you feel. <laughs> yeah, like it's really, it's really like it's insane, you know, that you know it took me this many years to do it, but I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever go back now. You know? Oh, yeah, so that's the beauty, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you know when you take that leap, it's that leap. When you take that leap and you look back, you be like, damn, that's all it took. You're like, I was in my own way, you know. So, all it takes just that. That's all it takes. Mm. Wow, I just really need to go Spider Man just now. Damn. <laughs> I just really went Spider Man. All it takes is a leap of faith. And that's all it takes is a leap of faith. Exactly. <laughs> Peter B. Parker was not wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, no, I, I'm being corrected by Tafari. Dream oh, Dream geez. Con, um, was, was it's been, uh, a, it's been the summer of it's been the, it's been the summer of cons. Man. I, yeah. I have not traveled this much in my entire life. It's it's. it's I'm, happy to have it. <laughs> I'm happy to have it. <laughs> but see, and I think, but it, this is what I love about that leap of faith. We can accomplish so much mm-hmm. with just that one step, you know. And, and I think what does it is that fear of failure. That's and a what a. Lot. Yeah, uh, and what a lot of people don't understand is like that's where you fail by you fearing that failure. You 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 didn't take that leap. You didn't take that first step. You know, it's just like you got to take that that leap. It's people sad. that are listening or watching, take the leap. Take Very much. And I'll say that the people that are, the people that that we all you know look up to, all the successful people, are still just people at the end of the day. I mean, they're great. I'm not taking away nothing from nobody. But they're not superhumans, you know what I mean? Like, dude, t- these did are, he these tell you? Like, did you get the sense that the people that we've come across that are in like the upper echelon of the world, I still read a little bit of fear and anxiety from them. It doesn't go away, but you've got to press through and get what it is that you want done. Mm-hmm. You can't let the anxi- the anxiety is is. It's a feeling, but it is it's ultimately gonna be just a word because once you get through it, what's what you'll be so mad that you let it hold you back. Yeah. You'll be so mad you let it hold you back. It's always you just gotta get to that woo part. That woo okay. That's what that's what always comes down to because like like Chris said, it it's the whole idea of fear. It's like we as a people have been told that it's success or nothing. We we have been in great. Yeah. That, that's exactly how we think. It's how yeah, we come up. We, we've been told success or nothing. So we've we've been we've never been given the area. We've never been given the area for failure. So because we and also at the same time, if it's something that you're passionate about, mm-hmm. I mean, whether it's voice acting, whether it's whether it's your own comics, whether it's you know your own show, your cons. When you when you got when you got something you care about, you protect it. It's your baby. You don't. You want it to do nothing more than to, to we don't want nothing more to do uh, to do it but to, for it to succeed. So in your mind, yeah. it's always like, okay, I'm going to do everything humanly possible. And that's where we're here. We're saying, like, you meet the of course, uh, also you were saying later that some people that you meet that are successful, yeah, they're still they still have the fear because okay, you you got this lick, cool. What's the what's what's the next one gonna do? Because as much as we're confident about what we want to do in life, it's always going to be that next step. It's just going to be, is it going to be as successful as the first one? And then you're starting the whole process all over again where you have to get yourself back to take another leap of faith. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's cool that we're, you know, we're, you're, we're finding ourselves surrounded by people that are, that are having this moment and just going, why not? Like it's like, like you said, kids, kids will pick up faster. All the kids will always pick up faster than adults will. They'll sit there and be like, Oh, I can just take my iPhone and make a movie. Cool. My ten-year-old nephew has figured that out. <laughs> He's got more followers than I do, but I'm sitting there looking at him like, if a ten-year-old had up, if a ten-year-old had up in his mind that he's just gonna, he is just gonna stream Fortnite and do TikTok videos and become successful at it, and he just sat there and said in his mind, okay, I'm just gonna do it. It is amazing that a child can figure out something faster than an adult with experience can. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, and everything you said is even compound, especially if you came up in a Caribbean household. Mm-hmm. Especially that fear of failure. Shit. Oh. Yeah. You better not come in this house with anything less than a, what did you do? A B? What's that round letter you got? Going means on there on that? No, okay. yeah, no, no, Lane, you got no, you got Caribbean parents. Mm, nope. No. Nope. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like my, my mother, God rest her soul, like she was American, but my dad was Haitian is Haitian. And like you didn't come home with less than anything than perfect, basically. Mm-hmm. And what were you like, what were you doing <laughs> and being distracted that you got that? You know, and if you what and if, and if you're not you if you're not a dentist or a doctor or a lawyer, then you're basically nothing. Yeah, what the yeah. hell you say? Uh, <laughs> a, a, I can't remember the dude's name, but he, he's an Asian. Uh, so much Stephen Hay. What the yeah. hell you say? Yeah, he, play, he plays his father. He's like, what the hell? Yeah, A A is average. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like the, that's the best you can get. Yeah. And I and I get it for a certain extent because we all grew up. We all had parents that were like that. Like, look, I never want to see a. I never want to see a C. I, if I see a B, it better be it better be because you sneeze and, and you sneeze and wrote the wrong answer. It's like that kind of thing. It better be because of a sneeze or something like that. Because they we've always, like I said, had that whole thing of excellence just drilled in our heads. I know for some parents, um, and like I said, Nigerian parents, Caribbean parents, that that's a whole different level of pressure because they're like, are you? It's like, what will you be? I said, I say like, I'll be a painter. No, you will be a doctor or engineer. Big one, doctor or engineer. I, I got I lucky when I get flapped for being a teacher, and that's only because my mother was a teacher and my father was a teacher. And you know, I dare him to say like being a teacher wasn't what it was. But I know other people, even in my family, either if you're a lawyer, a doctor, anything else. Yeah, because because that's all. Because I mean, that's that's what we saw as level of success. I mean, either you were a doctor, you were a lawyer, you were an engineer, you were a. Uh, specialist or a surgeon mm-hmm. it was always that one thing that parents always wanted to brag brag up brag about you but yeah no yeah but it's yeah. always been that thing. it's always been that thing but Creativity. Creativity. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work never... twice as hard to get half as much and all that shit. oh <laughs> lord <that> was, <laughs> like, we creativity in the black community was never rewarded because it had what? to meet a certain standard yep. it had to have a certain aesthetic yeah, you yeah. had to look a certain way, you had to sound a certain way, you had mm-hmm. to act a certain way. If you mm-hmm. diverged from that or you even went on a different path, oh, you were an outcast. That's you right. were but is it amazing funny. that Shut now up. that that now it's that same free thinking and that same creativity that puts all of us on this path of, of something bigger? Yeah, like mm-hmm. telling these stories, uh, writing these movies, pay the writers. You know, being you know, being being behind the scenes and creating some of the costumes that we see on eighty to ninety percent. Shout out to Nine B Collective of what we see on television and on screen. Uh, that's it's, and that all comes from that free thinking, that creativity. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like it, it's not stifled anymore. I, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, when you mentioned yeah. you you didn't ha- take that leap until 2020. I think a lot of people felt like that. Mm-hmm. Not just not just the blur community, but a lot of people. But for the black community, but see, that was the awakening. But see, see the crutch. Yeah. But the crutch. You know? Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, ladies first. That's the rules. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did did you did you feel limited in any way, shape, or form? Like before this, like did you feel like you needed to talk to yourself and saying, you know what, this this thing that's surrounding me is a bunch of bullshit. Like I need to come up off of it and just do me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, you know, high school in Philly, man. And, and, mm. and, and you know, like going to Brook, you know, <laughs> I mean, like, I'm playing, I'm hiding my Pokemon cards. <laughs> you, know what I mean? like, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, like, I didn't really, it didn't really bother me, but I knew that I was a little bit different from them. And I got in more trouble trying to be like the crowd than just trying to be, trying to be myself. You know what I mean? That took me through probably one of the, the worst block of years in, in my life trying to run around and, um, you know, blend in. So, yeah. 
I I, from, I I guess I'm one of the different ones for the simple fact, I, and it's probably because of my uncles, because my mother mm. seen that I was just as creative into comics as a kid. Like, just I'm talking about kindergarten. Like, mm. people say, "Oh, I want to be a police officer. I want to do that." I was like, "I want to be the bandit from Smokey and the Bandit. I want." <laughs> I want the car. <laughs> like I had a whole stage where I was in the red shirts and blue jeans with, with cowboy boots in, in kindergarten. <laughs> I wanted that. I was. I, I she. I guess she knew then. This kid is different. <laughs> I was like, hey. you know what? I I can't I can't say nothing because I my thing was Night Rider. So you ain't doing. Yeah. I just want. I just want to try. I just want to trans him. That's all. <laughs> you can keep We're not going to bring mine up. We're not going to bring mine up. No, I already know I'm strange. We're not going to bring mine up. <laughs> I want to be in the holograms and See? She-Ra. See. <laughs> so I yeah. knew. I knew five was dead, and, and I was fortunate enough that the even the kids that I was around throughout elementary, uh, middle school is just a weird transitional phase i don't know what the hell those two years are but mm-hmm. all through elementary you know you, you find out there's kids that's into star wars mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you find out that they're they're really into to night rider and Smokey and the bandit and stuff mm-hmm. like that and then you know like i said seventh and eighth grade those are damn blurs you know <laughs> but ninth grade you, you're just trying to find your tribe and you're still mm-hmm. into certain things but you're trying to find the tribe that you're a part of because you don't know unless you grew up with them. You don't know who's doing what. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know who's into what. You know, but I was fortunate enough to even then come across guys who uh, were fantastic artists. Fantastic art. No training, just that damn good. You mm-hmm. know, still talk to these guys to this day because they're that good. It was just like, yeah, can you freehand something for me? You know, and they could do it. You know. Uh, so it, I was lucky enough. I didn't. I didn't get that bullying, like you know, like like some people did. I didn't get that. Then again, like the crowd I was around, it was like, "Hey, we are gonna sit down and watch Kung Fu Theater, and you keep this up, we might have to whoop your ass." I don't know if it was <laughs> one of those things, but you know, but yeah, I mean, like for me, it was just like like we had it. I ain't gonna say it was really one way or the other because I had my I had my group that was all into the same things as me. We would watch Dragon Ball Z and, and then call each other and talk about it. But it's mm-hmm. like at the same time, our perception, like the collective perception of reality, is like you can't really get away from what's going on around us. So I guess we kind of like just blended both worlds <laughs> into into one weird thing and and traveled down it. there. And I did. I did carry that with me for a long time, and it wasn't until to answer your question, it wasn't until I got away from all of it, like I let go of that baggage and started. Um, actually, my daughter did that for me. You know, I let go of a lot of baggage and and just you know, like realized that it wasn't worth the trouble that it. You know, the the, the reward wasn't worth the trouble that I that I was getting from from doing all that stuff. So, I mean, mm-hmm. and that brings us back again to like part of the theme of the book. Because um, with uh, Sweet Pea, with Amani, you know, she's going to be coming up inside of this world that's now, like, changed forever. Like, it's never going back to being the same. she got to deal with all this violence and all this crazy stuff and everything like that. And then she still has her father to kind of, like, um, challenge her and try to try to direct her, you know what I mean? Whether she wants it, you know, whether she's receptive or not, we're going to find out. Mm-hmm. Where her story takes her, but you know he did his job in laying that that foundation, and that's gonna that's gonna throughout the story, you know, going forward, be an influence do, with her. Do you see her being grown up? Like, do you plan on? I don't know if you can say it or not. Do but you, these like, first four is the, your hope. Yeah, these first four is an introductory arc. You know what I mean? So once we get past that. Um, we might get into, and it's not, I, I don't want to disappoint anybody and thinking that it's a happy story. It's not, it's not, a, it's not really like, it's not, a, um, you know, like she got to go through some stuff, you know what I mean? So, okay. 
So I don't um, want to force. If you don't want to say it, I don't want to. I don't want to push you. It's, to, it's, to, the, yeah. it's the path of the see. hero. We know if you if you if you yeah. read any comic with with a major hero, it's the path of any hero. There's mm-hmm. got to be some form of tragedy. Like you you can't you can't have it all and still become the vigilante or or the big blue boy scout or whomever. there's got to be some level of tragedy that makes you either the bad guy or make you overcome the adversity and become the good guy. Exactly. Or, yep. disappointment. or something in between. <laughs> yeah, dis- disappointment. Yep. Disappointment will yep. do that to you. So, yep. Before we take a break, tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, uh, man, you can find me on, you can find me Alter Ego Arts. You can find me at Sweet Pea Comic on, um, those are both Facebook and Instagram and Sweet Pea Comic. I have a TikTok for that also. Those are those, that's where you, you can find me. <laughs> go support that Kickstarter. Go find him. Go look him up. Go show yep. your love because this is, is that first issue. It it hooks you. It, <laughs> yep. it hooks it's going to be it's going to be available on the Kickstarter too. The Sweet Pea Two uh, Sons of Adam on Kickstarter. Yeah, check yeah. it out. <laughs> like, yeah, Jay won't even say he's I remember trying to expose the Philly scene to the idea of black nerd creators and the fandom said Philly was not for it. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Philly is <laughs> Philly different, man. Philly different. It is... <laughs> so uh we'll be right back. We are talking about Ahsoka so far, episodes one through four. You want to check this out? You know how we do around here. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> There's that squeal. <laughs> do you like your pancakes patted? Your biscuits buttered? Your cakes fluffy? Then you should get mother butters. I put that on everything pasta, veggies, rice, and everything nice. Mother butters will get you right. Oh, yeah. GMO free. And for those who are vegan, Mother Butters has a non-dairy option. That's right. There's enough Mother Butters for everyone to enjoy. Get Mother Butters from your local grocery store. Hey, man! What you doing in my kitchen? Damn! Can't take us nowhere. Safe! (laughs) (laughs) You can't take us nowhere. Full commit. (laughs) So, we are well into four episodes of the new Disney Plus series Ahsoka. And I I'm I don't know about anybody else. Rosaria <laughs> Dawson is showing her whole ass. Uh <laughs> almost literally. Almost literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm digging gorgeous. this. I I I am I ever since her appearance on The Mandalorian, which was a fantastic showing because that got people going. Like if the Mandalorian wasn't enough, now you're starting to bring Star Wars Rebels characters into the play. Mm-hmm. And now they're losing their minds. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jay says, what was that? What, what did you say? Uh, so, if you're a fan of Star Wars Rebels, this is almost like a Star Wars Rebels season, what is it? Season five. Five, five yeah. <laughs> damn near, it's damn near. Did not miss a beat. My goodness, it's damn near season five of Star Wars Rebels, and we're picking up the story of Ahsoka Tano. Oh, when she—it's it's confirmed five by Mr. Filoni himself. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that! It's, it's confirmed. Yes, the it man is doing the Lord's work. I swear to God. May the Lord I'm, keep him. <laughs> the way that they, the way they ended Rebels was a crime. See, yeah. this is why I had to go back and go watch Rebels. I was trying to binge my toy, binge my binge watch. Thank you for watching me this far, uh, all the way to season five. So I was, I was like, okay, I, I, there were some parts of the show I didn't really catch. I had to go back and watch. I'm like, I get it now. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so here, it's, it's funny, here, here's the yeah, goddess here. She looks amazing. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, uh, she, <laughs> she, she trained <laughs> to be amber dexterous to fight her scenes. Wow. Hmm. Talent. It's not easy. Let me tell you, I have tried. I've got my kendo sticks right here. <laughs> <laughs> let me let you know. You say that, 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 left, that left hand just do everything. Okay. Okay. No, that, huh? no <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. My left hand is better than my right. Mm. Really? Because mm. you yes. probably use your right more than anything else. So you're so right hand dominant. 
Yeah, if, my, you right hand, if you right hand dominant, the left tends to have a little more finesse because you don't yeah. use it as much. No, mm. no, no, no. Stick yeah. around. We we won't spoil it for the last. No, 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 no. 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 We, <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do that here. We don't do that. We do re we do <laughs> reviews. We like oh, what we're seeing. Yeah. Stick around. Have some fun. Yeah, Join no. in the conversation. Yeah, no. You know we like you here. No. <laughs> Keep you behind right there in that seat, ma'am. Miss Miss right. Nicole, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she goes the government out. He said, take, take my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> take my strong hand. Take my strong hand. Take um, my strong hand. But you like, know, you, that navy. you know what, what it is? It's, it's also cello, because I should not be able to do this the way oh, that Kira's I do. Oh, a, a villain. This is why I love her on the squad. I mean, <laughs> you fill her with the strings. I Makes mean, sense. I could do it with yes. two of them. How about that? Well, no, it's well, like what's but, the difference? Can, At this point, you, you can be doing water signs. Oh, oh, all right, fine, lady. Shit. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> <you. laughs> wow. I do mind the fingers that sound like they're like a bowl of cereal. Okay. I'm not going to play no, but I can you don't have you don't have to do a summoning juice okay. over at my house. I'm good. Some people, <laughs> some people, some people can't do it. I guess. Black I'm being melanated. That's why. Okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's all the way. That's all the way. We are family by fingers. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why Miles is the best Spider-Man. Okay, because we can do that. Oh, we, we yeah. Let's go. He is. He is stronger than Peter, by the way. Um, yep. <laughs> better hair too. So we are literally picking up ah Ahsoka Tana as as we know when she left off Rebels. It left her story in limbo. Mm hmm pretty much uh we know that the star wars rebels line it pretty much was the filler that of anakin's story and there was some other backstory characters that told some stuff but yeah like you said laney it was a cry and favreau and filoni are fixing that praise mm -hmm. the the uh fans lost it when they seen her on mandalorian mm -hmm. and they seen how well she was handling her yo when I seen those blades, mm -hmm. all I could say was like, shit, we here now. <laughs> we here now. Uh, it was like, <laughs> it's like, it's like the Chappelle skit. Stedman, and don't you fuck this up for me. <laughs> but I like what they're doing, you know, their episode, you know, obviously, and, and I don't get what is going on. Every fan base has their toxic Whatever you want to call it, mm. I find it not all of them. <laughs> not all of them. Not, not, not all. Of them. Not all. Of them. Oh, there's a few. But I wish. But, I wish the fan of a space 1999 would grow some balls. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. There's. There seems to be this thing where, and we are part of it too, where we make these theories and and we get disappointed. But we're that part of that group that yeah, we make the theory, we might get disappointed, but we don't make it. A thing we don't say. Oh, I'm never gonna watch the show again, or I hate what that. I'm like, no, this is a, Star Wars has evolved as it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only other franchises yeah, that I know that has gone this far is Star Trek and James Bond. Yeah, and that and, is a bold and statement. Hey, statement. Yeah. It's a true statement. It's a true statement. <laughs> I was just like. And 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 mm. those are without and uh, any in, in Buffy's 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 coming up, you and, know, and and there's no question that yes, there's some things that's happened in those franchises that yeah we don't like or it fell flat on its face. You know, it's, <laughs> mm -hmm. Supernatural is dead. I'm sure people are gonna be. Yo, hey, 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 hey! Oh, bite your tongue, sir. Hold oh, no, on, I will. I will respect the beer, but bite your tongue, sir. See, we, no now, Winchester the, now, the slander over here. That, no, you didn't well, now the fact that I said that, and I am a supernatural fan, and watching y'all just come out y'all's cages and just bear your fangs. We so like, hey, 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 slow down. We don't, we don't so, do so any Winchester you slander over here. You say I said it was all time? fifteen seasons. Wait, say what? <laughs> I said with all fifteen seasons. I was gonna say and say, so are you one of those super? Are you one of those supernatural fans, David, that said the show should have ended at season five? Mm -mm. Okay, cool. You're not there. <laughs> I'm kind of that, that question. I'm glad it didn't, but I kind of am because, like, the first five seasons slapped so hard. Oh, they did. 
I think the series okay. overall, it it was it was brilliant in its concept. Season three was but, the best to me. But like all like all shows, it starts to show its age over time. Oh yeah, and I, and, their own the supernatural. Before we get to Ahsoka, the only hang up what I had with Supernatural was that final season. I know why, because it was pandemic problems. I I get it. You know mm-hmm. they they were dealing with stuff. I I still want my proper final season. I, it just because <laughs> when you hear about what was done and what they what they actually had planned, and I'm like, oh fucking opportunity! Oh, what they had planned? They had a full reunion plan. What's it was mean? still it was still supposed to be the boys dying. It was still mm-hmm. supposed to be that, but it was the boy. It was Dean dying, and then uh, meeting up with his mother and father. And then it was them mm. meeting up. It was them meeting up with. It was meeting up with all their past hunters who they lost. It was meeting Man. up at the bar that they oh. used to all meet up at. It that was, would have been it, phenomenal. It was. It was yeah. Kansas. It was Kansas playing at the bar, playing Wayward Son. Yeah. They yeah. had all. Yeah. They had it. So yeah. So, so the fact happened? that the the pandemic. The pandemic oh, it really come alluded. back and shoot the shit because I'm telling you right now <laughs> that, that, that would be the ending scary. all supernatural fans would go for. I have a That's friend of mine who cosplays as the car as baby, and yes, she cosplays as baby in her own way. How I will send you, I matter of fact, I will send you pictures of her because she is is phenomenal, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm intrigued. Like if, if baby were in human form, she killed it. Oh. She killed it. Does she even have the pictures too? Yes. They're the only <laughs> show to pull off an animated crossover, Yo, and, and it was shit, fucking brilliant. That shit was great. Oh man, that is a right. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> that is a I'm, fact. How many seasons did Supernatural go to? It fifteen. 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 15. 15. That's mm-hmm. a good run, man. Yeah, it, it, was, it was. It's the one piece of fucking live action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. D- Days of Our Lives will forever. Days of Our Lives will forever hold that crowd. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. If there was ever going to be a one piece relative, it's that show. Is that still happening? <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, yeah, okay, thousand, then that I'll that I will watch. They are <laughs> one piece up to a thousand sixty eight episodes, and I'm caught up. So yeah. now I gotta find out how many days a lot days of our lives there are. Um, wow. so <laughs> two thousand seven hundred three. <laughs> right. I think, I think it's one. So, so on Ahsoka Tano or for Ahsoka, we get everybody from Rebels, just about, just about mm-hmm. the tease of of Thrawn. This is gonna be fucking. I thought like this is gonna bring Zeb somewhere. Yeah, because he, he showed it. up in Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. so they, they have to. Yeah, you know, I mean, they, like even we. Thrawn I, showed up in Mandalorian. Yeah, Zeb. Yeah. Does. Mm-hmm. No, Zeb. not Thrawn. No, Thrawn, Thrawn, not Thrawn, not Thrawn. Yeah. Thrawn's, Thrawn's been, been mentioned. Yeah. He's been, yeah, Thrawn's been, been mentioned. in Mandalorian, but he doesn't show yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I like what they're doing. I really do. I, I like that they're touching back on rebels. Mm-hmm. And going through certain levels and stuff like, I like what they're doing in this last episode. Watching Rosario battle, mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> so, uh, kind of I was kind of divided. I can't even lie. The first two episodes, I was kind of divided. Mm-hmm. I was. I, I'm, I'm with you. I was. I was waiting for it. I really felt like it was, I'm always going to say, like, I really felt like the characterization of some of the main characters was a difference between watching um, um, Aang as anime okay. and then Aang in live action and, like, Sokka in live action. Like, it was such a disconnect for me. I felt like this episode finally brought all that shit yes. together. And I know that some yes. people didn't watch this, so I'm not going to say it, but just how it ended... Yeah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> that is committed. I really do. I really hope that that character arc is committed. The only thing I don't like the way the other way how it ended is what they introduced. I hope that that's fourteen not real. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate to tell you, it's real. It's real. Yeah. They did it. They. They <laughs> no. Like the, like ha- let me tell you. The let place. me tell you how how it has to be real. Mm-hmm. It has to be real because there's no other way to bring Mace back. 
Keep shit on me. Yeah. Wow. See, this, and, and, and see, there's I see no other way to do that. And listen, why do you I, say they bring in mace I bags? Want, I want mace. This is because it's the purple. Way it's that, purple. The, I know you can't see it's way, purple. But I, I don't want I don't want it to happen. I need to happen. I got you, I got you, lady. I got you, lady. Let's, hold on. Let's hold on, bring hold on. some more original stories. Like let's not go Here's backwards again. You know what I mean? You know what? It's not it's not going backwards, backwards though. It's not. It's not. I mean, not. they they pop. I mean, you know, if you if you believe the internet, then at Mall can come back too. And again, we did not have enough of Mall at all. Okay, Mall's voice has already been heard in episode one. I did not hear that. Live action Mall. I know yeah, you did not hear that. Sure. Mall what has already really? been introduced. I said yeah. live action uh, Mall definitely need more of that. Mm. Yes. I mean, can we get no. Ray Park? Okay, can mm. we get him? Because oh, he ain't doing much yeah. of anything. If, if yeah, he he to happen, I'm not that he can't lie. divulge, you know, I'd be, NDA. I'd be bad, but I'd be happy because again, it's it's this. We need to build on the nostalgia and not go forward. And that's I think my biggest problem with Star Wars at a whole that they don't want to go forward. They want to build backwards, and then it's just like you have a great opportunity right now to go mm -hmm. forward. With some brand new stuff like what where Thrawn could possibly be, and bringing in like the ancient whatever they're called, I forgot what they're called. That could be something different that Star Wars fans have never seen as a whole, unless you are a diehard fan, unless you know all the legacies and and, and legend on um, books. You know what I'm saying? But like when you bring in those aspects, that are things that have not been seen and talked about in general spaces. Mm -hmm. And that is truly exciting. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I, then when you keep on going backwards, it's like, fuck. Well, so okay, hold so on. When, okay, when so do Ahsoka takes place at, at what point in time, like compared to the movies? So is it after the Raider, original movie? Raider is after it's after Empire or is after um it's return. It's between, yes. it's between the fall of the Empire and the First Order. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is okay. it's because and that's the thing. This is what I can appreciate about what we're getting, not just from Ahsoka, but just all the filler like the Mandalorian and everything. This is what I can appreciate because it's such a vast universe mm -hmm. that is more than just the Skywalker clan. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what I've what I've appeared, mm -hmm. what I what I've wanted the Skywalker clan storyline to end differently, of course. Of course, but you know, I don't have no control of that. But I'm glad that we're getting other characters to talk about and kind of introduce in, in backdoor ways to say, hey, while that was going on over here, this was going on over here. Mm -hmm. And we can and we can build off of that and we can move yeah. forward and, and have other legacy characters involved. And you know, I'm like, I'm sorry, but if you thought Vader was something, now we got Moff Gideon. And it's like it's <laughs> Esposito for Christ's sake. Like <laughs> You have something I want. <laughs> <laughs> and he's extremely excited playing that role. You know, and that's just in The Mandalorian. So when you see even the line that Hera gives, you know, once a rebel, always a rebel. And I'm just like, <laughs> you got damn right. You know? <laughs> and, 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 you know, and rest in peace, Ray Stevenson. He's he's doing a fantastic job. Yes, I'm so mad. Yes. mad, sad. Yes, the whole. Thing. And oh. it's just like I think he might be the best, uh, the second best thing in yeah. that entire series, yeah. which is really sad. Yeah. Which I, which um, I'm trying to remember which series it was, but it's it's cool to see. The other side of um the resistance. What did they turn into after the after the empire was down? Who's in charge now? I don't want to get the name. New it's the New Republic, new Republic and new. it's oh god, it's not um. Well, Leia's still there. No, it's, it's not Leia. Charge. It's not Leia. She's too. She's too. She's she's still kind of rebelly ish. Yeah. She's not. She's not the talk piece. It's the other chick. I can't. Whose name? I can't. Ma? Not my, um, oh no. Oh, uh, um, I mean. Mon Mothra. There yeah. you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's cool seeing like the New Republic got they got some shit with them too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like behind the scenes, behind the scenes, and and like they they kept some some Empire stuff around. 
So yeah. like when she's yeah. like once a rebel, always a rebel, you don't know where that might go. You know what I mean? Because yeah. <laughs> we might have to rebel against y'all, man. Y'all might, yeah. you know, yeah. like check y'all. Y'all acting <laughs> funny. Y'all y'all looking a little sideways on something. <laughs> What's yeah. going on? The side eyes looking a little thick over there. Yeah. I, like was, the- I forget what what series it was, but um. They had like these torture devices that was left over from the Empire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Mandalorian, too. That was in the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't remember. Okay. Um, Where they're they're doing the mines, their mind melt. Yeah. Instead of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, ours is different because we turned the dial down. It it only stops at five now. It doesn't go all the way to 11. Not all the way to 11. Yeah. It's the dot, the numbers are still there, but we just leave it at five. <laughs> this is this is one who I'm I number one, I love the fact that they're bringing these characters back. Number two, I love the fact that they got my guy back here. Hmm. He sounds so different. He sounds like um he could be either your favorite doctor or your favorite demon. Depends on what day of the week it is. Ooh, David too. <laughs> yeah. David Tennant is a beast, man. I like that. You gotta him. love the guy. You gotta love the guy. Like he just like brings him. a level of something yes. that is just <laughs> it's, and like low key, I be thinking he's kind of a bad guy because shit be going sideways for him way too often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, looking at him funny. I like the way he be telling the truth all the he time. He just likes he just no likes filter. to reinforce Jedi protocol. That's all. There you go. <laughs> He's a and sticker for it. No filter. <laughs> he said, "Not bad, but not good yeah. either." I'm like, "Damn, yeah. thanks for the bold yeah. confidence." He's like, uh, you, know? "You have out of all the Jedi I've seen, you have no mm, no talent. Like no talent. <laughs> you ain't got no talent, girl." I'm like, "Damn, Damn man." man. So, like, so you would have never let you in the door. Yeah, they struggle. No, get out of my face. <laughs> is the I didn't finish um Rebels, but is the Gray Jedi has that ever become a thing anywhere? That's like Ahsoka. In, that, yeah, That's yeah. Ahsoka. She is Ahsoka, a, Ahsoka, yeah, she's a she she's a gray, gray Jedi. Jedi. Mm-hmm. Uh Ray Stevenson's his group, they're not even Sith, they're considered dark Jedi. Mm. They're not even Sith. They're like I guess you're like all, Yeah, yeah. Sith adjacent. Yeah. Sith so, <laughs> so the Gray Jedi, they don't belong to a particular sect. They 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 follow the they follow the the correct the right side of the force the light side of the force. Mm-hmm. However, if shit need to get done in a dirty way, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, like they consider they consider Mace great Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn it, because like I mean, because you know, hmm. he, he yes, he's on the council. Yes, he's making sure stuff get done. But if shit really needs to get done, mm-hmm. you know what's so funny is yeah. when I mm-hmm. think I'm of. Kidding. When I hear people talk about the Jedi, I always gravitate to Dune because you have the Atreides, House Harkonnen, and the Fremen. Mm -hmm. So the dynamic is literally along those lines. You have Atreides, who are you know the noble house that everyone is, you know they're they're following after. You have the Harkonnen, who just don't like anybody. They want to take out the Atreides, and you have the Fremen, who are like, "We here. What you want us to do? Mm -hmm. All right, where's Moadib?" You good? All right, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go get some worms out of sand. Come on, let's go. And that's kind of how I see Star Wars. So that keeps me from losing my mind. I, I do love. I do I, love Chopper. I, I love Chopper. I think. I think there's more of a pull <laughs> towards towards the dark and the light side there. So it, it gives you more room to have one side lean a little bit more towards the other, or to have a surprise person kind of flip on you. Mm-hmm. With the with the with Dune, it's very we stick to the script. Like we're this is our house. We ride for our house. This is how we act. We're not going to change our mo. Right. With Star mm-hmm. Wars, you can you can get people to go from one side to go from the light side to the dark side. In well, yeah, in the case of Dune, you become stink- you know, part of the Fremen. You yeah. know, you don't you you don't pledge fealty to either house. You're right there in the middle. Right. Yeah. Right, right. And and you stay there. With now, Star Wars, you you you've got a little more fluidity. Yeah, this is this one. Uh, I like her. Like her. Morgan <laughs> I do like her. Yeah. Els, Elsbeth <laughs> is something different because one, she she was an ex night sister. Number one, mm-hmm. here's here's a here's a little sidebar. She's, in real life, she was, she was yeah, but yeah yeah. 
Yeah, um, X. yeah it's, it's it's still there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's with the it. shits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the actress, the actress is actually Bruce Lee's goddaughter. Really? Wow. Oh. Wow. Okay. I'm like, so you know, you're your night sister, and you're connected to one of the most badass people. <laughs> I would love to see just an animation about that. I, I, I pray that she stays in theater for a while because the yeah. Lee family is so cursed. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Bruce Lee, Brandon Lee. I mean, what happened to Brandon Lee? I'm still bugging yeah. off of that one. That reminds Shannon, me of Russ. Shannon, Shannon stays in, she stays behind the scenes. Good girl. Mm -hmm. She yeah. better. She better. Stay away and from. Don't fly, fly, don't, do not fly often. Mm -mm. Right. Stay away from it's munitions. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this gun's got blanks. Get the f out of here with that. What's wrong with that you? Was, that was crazy. crazy. Without doing, because we're doing reviews, we're not doing like the spoiler. Because mm -hmm. how many episodes is it for? Is it is it four. six? It's four. It's four. Eight. It's eight. We're only I halfway think. through. Oh, oh no, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, no, it's not four already. I know, I know, it's I four, think it's four like right now. No, it's oh eight. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah it's, eight, eight, it's eight episodes in total. But mm -hmm. like Kara said, we're halfway through. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're they're telling a story, <laughs> and this is what I can appreciate just about this universe alone. I like getting new stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like getting new stuff. Yeah, I'll take the good with the bad. It's yeah. okay. It, like I'm not gonna be the one chewing them up and, and whatever. We got Fravor and Filoni. We're fine. You know they they're writing wrongs. They they make he's mm. making me nervous. I'm not gonna lie. He's making me ner a little nervous with with Ahsoka. I'm a little little bit nervous. I don't know what it is. There's there's something that itches with me. That's my that's. If I got an itch, it's, it's itchy and it's got to get fixed. Like, you better fix that in the next episode type of itch. So <laughs> I don't hope they actually the commit twitches. to Sabine. The, the twitchings? I, I, I'm, I'm going to say, I think I Sabine will, is, playing, I is playing the long game. I think Sabine is, has listened. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think she's doing it Ahsoka. like. Yeah. She knows what she's. She's in the same place with that ball. She's in the same place with the people. She knows how to get to where she needs to go, right? Yeah. She has access to communications, right? Mm -hmm. She knows how to reach them, right? Don't sleep on Sabine. Sabine in this game too much for y'all to be falling for her. This is, it. This is how I look. This is how I look don't at sleep it. on my girl. I just, like the, I just like the way it ended, and I wish that that's actually how they're going to take that character. Yeah. Mm. Between Sabine, Hera, and Ahsoka, I'm like, Hera already said, I'm the general. I'm going to be disobeying orders. Just, always is. just so you know, that's what we do. I run the show. And I'm sitting back, and I'm sitting back watching it like, no, don't sleep on these sisters. Like, oh, absolutely. They, they, they're in sync. They're right. in sync. You know? <laughs> so it's like, mm, I don't think you want to do that. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> It's like they're gonna watch each other's backs if anything yeah. else. And it's it's crazy for you to say no, just leave them to go, you know, like don't go help your friends. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't know what these yeah. people been through together, man. I mean, you knew she was like, yeah, she was like, Yeah, and the council said no, so we won't be coming. And she was like, She'll be coming. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about that. We about to be in we about to be in the muck or in the middle bit. She's gonna show up. <laughs> so for company. Yeah, right. So who is it? Mark. That that battle between him and Ahsoka. Man. When he pulls out the blade, the double blades, and starts spinning, and she's just looking, and then like boom. It was it gave me old West mm -hmm. vibes. The old mm -hmm. West. It, yeah, Honestly, yeah don't don't don't, don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Some people ain't seen it. It gave me old West vibes, but mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. her, her, it's very old West vibes. Yeah, yeah. It, the the mm -hmm. way the look she gave me, and I'm just like, yeah, this. She, this she ain't did going, that. She man. did. <laughs> this is how you thought it was end. One thing I know <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> like, um, they got right now. We got a story about a uh, a Jedi or a great Jedi that's train training a Mandalorian. Basically, to be a Jedi, right? Right. And then we also got a Mandalorian that's training a young, um, a Jedi. young Jedi over on the Mandalorian. Yeah. So, and I mean, like the Mandalorians ain't nothing to play with, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like they, mm -hmm. I think they, they showed that 
inside of the series because every, everything that I'm watching. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, really, the wave. Really, I mean, she wave. is she is our resident encyclopedia on all things Mandalore. I, but, I mean, I'll fuck you up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm no expert, but light fracture. When I'm watching these Disney here, Plus okay. shows, like my bar is how fast would 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 Mando just tear through whatever these problems is that they have. And because to me, like, just my opinion, that dude is like the Terminator when anything that he comes through. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. jarring, yeah. I, yeah. He's honestly, like, he's like, he's, he's, no, he's, no, he's no pass. No diplomacy at all. We don't <laughs> yeah. None. I can bring you yeah. more. No. I can bring Fuck you more. Fuck it up and apologize later. <laughs> <laughs> <on the side. laughs> he's no pass. I'll never, I'm like, John about somebody that was just like, you know what? Fuck this. My, my gun's overheating. What are we doing? <laughs> I said hello and we're not fighting. We've talked for too long. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that and that's how old it that that's when I see them fight, I'm like, that's big dude. Don't no. <laughs> <laughs> Even Grogu was like, uh uh-uh. yeah. uh. Uh-uh. So, wait, what button? <laughs> oh, that little that little that little kid now look at me split like no nah, this, this ain't this ain't for me this ain't for me <laughs> this ain't the fight I won't yeah I'm I'm good I'm good uh so before we get out we already halfway through the season now that it's really starting to ramp up what do you think honestly put your ears cover your ears. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Nicole, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, get out! Bail, bail! La 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 la, Miss Saigon! La la la, Miss Saigon! Red alert! Red alert! <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> hey, that, hey, that's trap. The, the quintessential story. Oh. Let it cook. I'm, uh, that's all I can say about it. Let it cook. It is beautiful. Do you don't mess with it? Do you think Filoni is really nailing these characters in the stories? Yeah. I, I coming I think, to like I said, I wasn't I wasn't <laughs> that first too, but yeah. I I think if you if you have the capacity to retain all of the history that these particular characters have been through, you mm-hmm. can understand their their brevity you can understand why they try to hold back their emotions you can understand why this is this is very serious for them to get the one to get the the one man a that they were trying to get rid of in the first place and get their one man back mm-hmm. you you get it mm. has feloni i'm nervous because i don't know if feloni can land this plane the way that he should I, mm-hmm. I think the story is going to be good. I don't think it will be complete. And I think that's what the movie is for. I agree with you. Search your okay. Okay. When you say it that way, okay, I get, okay, that. Hold on. So what you movie? Think, uh, He's, the next race so there's going to be an, there's going to be an additional three Star Wars movies. They are not necessarily all connected, but there's going to be three additional movies. One of his movies is supposed to tie in the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and Ahsoka. Yeah. And mm-hmm. actually, honestly, oh. all I think all of these TV uh, shows, they're all oh, supposed so that's to be not the race, That's not the Ray Sensor one. Then, no, Ray no. is directed by, by, by the Somebody woman. Okay. I can't but, remember. She, she's done other stuff, but um, yeah. yeah, no, Ray, no. He's he's more in the in this current timeline and mm-hmm. the Ray story is going to be for the future. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she's like the, not New Republic, but... Uh, uh, new Jedi up. Order. Yeah, New Jedi Order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I think, okay. So you're saying he's not going to, you don't think he'll stick the landing, but only because I, he's trying to make it spill over into the theatrical. In this, there's too much to, to do in eight episodes of this movie to try to tie all this together and, and in a nice bow. The story Fair. has to continue. It has Fair. to continue. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So, Let's, okay. Oh, okay. Because when you get when you get Ezra back, now what? What yes, is he so. supposed to do? What was the whole purpose of him being this pentultimate type of Jedi that can move through space and time? What like 
Are you kidding me? You gonna well, end it here? <laughs> so I mean, at this point, he's not the penultimate because now the way that this one ended, you have another one moving through time and space. That's number one. Then number two, to piggyback of what you said, the fact that you have Thrawn, that's such a magnetic force, and he hasn't been there, and now you're all you're already halfway over. If you put him even at episode five and then end him at episode eight, it's a rush job. You have got to let that air out. You got give me it. three episodes of Thrawn, I will bust your head open to the it's white it it show. Like to me, to, to piggyback over you say, I just I thought actually that they were gonna buy for a season two automatically because it's just like you are taking your time and just it's, just really you, putting you, down seeds. You're safe, Nicole. You're safe. No, it's <laughs> not. Yeah, Nicole just came back because she was sending me stuff on IG to, to avoid the conversation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shout I out to Nicole. That. I, I think I think that it is finally. First of all, like this is one of the first um, things since Mandalorian season two that I've been excited about. You know what I'm saying? Because like some of the other stuff that ha has happened, there have been high and lows about it, but as an overall thing, just like eh, whatever. But this quality. Has just got me fever pitching. Like, okay, I'm loving these. I'm loving the battle scenes. I'm loving the battle scenes. Oh, I am really impressed. Battles, like, right, Ray's is like real confident and suave with it. And homegirl Shin is just like, I'm just gonna take everybody. I'm just, I'm the Miss Child. The is spraying everybody. She's like, fuck it. I'm just gonna be. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but this scene here did. I was just like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> that was done. I was like, yo, wait, wait. Like, Girl, the fuck? What the fuck are you to me? I don't. You better get bitch your ass talk. to Bella. <laughs> it, was like, it was a little bit. Bitch and talk. Uh, <laughs> so, so just as a, as you know, like just a rookie or whatever, are we, so we, we got, um, looking forward, right? Because there's, there's stuff that comes next that's already out already, right? Mm -hmm. In the timeline, mm -hmm. yes. So there's no, but is there any like end of these characters that we that we see in now that we know of? Or is it like we have no idea what they was doing while all the other stuff was going on in, in the timeline all, future? All of these, all of these miniseries are basically to show what's happened between um, the um, Empire, seven. Empire Strikes Back and ugh, Return. That that seven. next set of the, she can't um, say what oh you, oh yeah the second yeah the second seven. yeah the second, that, other, that other trilogy that other trilogy between six and seven between six and seven the other the yeah. other series right yeah. but that's not but but that's it's like you said it's a big it's a big universe so there's no telling what what's the, what happens with these characters right like we still could, we still got that mystery of of their the end of their stories. I think not correct, correctish, not with these characters. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But it does oh, leave cool. it does leave room for storytelling, though. We put oh, in a whole bunch of room yes. for storytelling. That's dope. And that thing that's what I love about it the most is There's... the fact that you're you're you can go there now. Mm -hmm. And and now they've opened up the door to a whole other galaxy. Not a mm -hmm. not even, not even just a universe. That's a whole right, galaxy. A galaxy and far, 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 far away. Right? Far, 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 away. You know, like, <laughs> what's this funny, though? Enough can be trusted. <laughs> you know what's funny about whole, all Star Wars is I, when Star Wars came out in 77, and I got to go to the theater, and I enjoyed it. As a kid, big old screen, dog fights and everything. And then I found out a couple of years later that there was a book, and I read, and this, this kept going off in my head. It's called Splinter in the Mind's Eye. Oh, Splinter yeah. the Mind's Eye was supposed to be what Empire the Empire Strikes Back is. Mm -hmm. They never adapted it because the book had Luke and Leia trapped on Mimban, mm -hmm. struggling against everybody. Oh, no. So I was like, "You had it right here." I remember the book. I'm literally in sixth grade, going, "Oh, I got to read this book." And then my grandma said, "No, baby, you ain't reading that," and just tossed it. Mm -hmm. So I never got to read the book, but when I got to read it later, I said, "This is what Empire Strike was supposed to be." So I always question. We, we always wanted Leia in some form of battle. We always yeah. wanted Leia mm -hmm. because she she was that. 
It, uh, mm-hmm. She was her before Ahsoka was her. She, she was I her. Was right? she's, supposed be, she's supposed to be Ahsoka. She's supposed yeah. to be everything that Ahsoka is right now. Mm-hmm. But that Absolutely. book gave us that whole background. So I was always curious as to why did they go in that direction with Empire? Mind you, I don't comp- have any complaints about Empire. Mm-hmm. But why not go with a source material that was written as a sequel to Star Wars? It's too too forward mm-hmm. thinking. Can't right. have that. You can't have that woman fighting mm-hmm. against. Yeah, the yeah, no. yeah. Doggone science fiction fans. Me, when we got when we got when we got the scene during that last trilogy of her training of her in training, like they show her training, we were just like, that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah, the whole time. You know, yeah. we the were looking time, for that. the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> we, got a, we got a family story about that first Star Wars movie. My uncle, they went to the premiere of it, and uh, my uncle got freaked out so bad by the by the ship coming through the uh, you know at the top of the screen. Mm-hmm. He oh, wow. screamed so like he was hysterical, man. They had to, the whole family had to leave the theater. <laughs> Yo! Oh wow! Wow. What? Oh, that star, that star destroyer coming off of chasing. Yeah, that movie. star destroyer yeah. moving from the front. Of the just, like you, and we talking about it, like, that's the opening like five seconds. The preview. Yeah, yeah. Already, like all right, it's we right gotta right to go. <laughs> oh, the crap out of me though. Like, I went like, ah! yeah. <laughs> before Dolby was Dolby. You just had a lot of it was loud. And you, you just see had it coming over. It's like. They did not care about equal. They did not care about uh, equilibrium and speakers in movie theaters. It was like <laughs> break it to eleven, and hope you still got hearing afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> that's how I did. That's how I was when I seen uh, the Batman in like super duper fucking Dolby and so I'm just like, yo, hey, 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 hey don't cut that down. Yo. Shit, oh, that's oh, supposed oh, to be this oh, loud. That's <laughs> that's that sounds like I got the, the the car scene. Yeah. I use myself. <laughs> I love that a good car? muscle car, but it re- it rests up, and I'm like, hey, hey, Ooh. who kicked my Ooh, chair? Wait. Stop <laughs> kicking my chair. <laughs> at, least, at least you didn't watch it in four. You didn't watch it in a 40x where it's a whole ride. No. <laughs> imagine, imagine you're on 40. Imagine 40x and you're there for the car scene. Just you got pop. Ooh, and I'm thinking about all the <laughs> knock arounds on that freeway. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Oh, so. oh no! How about life changing when when Phantasm came out? Jesus. Saw it in the theater, and when, when he was in the mausoleum, he was getting chased by that silver ball, and that Joker just came impaled. Mm-hmm. As soon as the drill came out, the theater got loud. All you hear is this weak, this 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 drill sound. It was like really loud, the sound of blood and everything. It's like this is why I'm ruined. <laughs> I no longer see horror the same my way. Tail. My tail was in the shower, like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and my father, get out of the damn shower. Damn, I'm scared. You're using up all my water. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nightmare, I'm on Elm sorry. Street. Nightmare on Elm Street will always have that kill shot that'll always be in the back of my head. Oh. But I didn't, trust, I didn't trust the mattress for a little while after that. Yo! <laughs> I didn't trust the mattress after a while. I messed myself up watching that when I was a kid. It's like, bye, wow. yeah. you remember? Was it, you know what? It wasn't Grimlin's so Critters. Much. Mattress, um, what's yeah. the name? Critters. Oh, my one God. Four, so. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about four. Oh, That's no. exactly. Critters. What about Critters will never have you, Critters will never have you trust in the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never trust a tool in your life again yeah, if you watch I mean, that movie. I really forgot about that. Yeah, I really man. gotta go. Man, them cinema theaters were just disrespectful in Indianapolis, though. They just disrespectful. Everything was a speaker. <laughs> Damn critters! Oh, uh, I, do want that gun. I do want that gun. Uh, so before we get out of here, man, I want to thank our guest, Aline Leggett of Alter Ego uh, Arts. Go check out the Kickstarter. Go hit them up. Go show your support. That Sweet Pea and uh, Purple Haze, number two and number one. <laughs> go get it. Go get them. Uh, go get them. Go show your love. You're going to love the story. You're going to love the story because it actually is. It's it's one of kind. It's one of kind. So I want to thank, thank Aline for coming through. Dude, this door is always open. Thank you. Always come through. We always got a plate waiting for you. We got to give him the blur con <laughs> next year. Aline, we got to get hey. you to BlurCon next year. Yes. I'd love to be there, man. I'd love to be there. I've seen somebody talking about J1Con, too. I want to try to make it down oh, to that. That's yeah. coming up soon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beginning of November, we are going to be there. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, man. I hope to see y'all there. 
So, <laughs> Lady Mandalore, let them know where they can find you. Well, hello, my lovely people. Hello. Um, <laughs> you can find me, hi, on the Instagram with the uh, whole room full of blurred things right right, right down there. Yeah. Um, you can also find my lovely podcast on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, where I talk to, you know, brand new creators, little known creators on my podcast. I like to prop them up and give them the um, platform that they deserve. Uh, despite the algorithm, because <laughs> F the algorithm. Yeah. And F the algorithm. <laughs> F the algorithm. Um, you can also find me on TikTok as Child of Mandalore, because I also have a podcast called Child of Mandalore, where I talk about the history of, yep, you guessed it, Mandalore. And um, that's basically it for right now. We should have some good big news next week. I, like I didn't want to say big it. News. Yeah. Good big news. Good we big go news. in places, bitches. <laughs> we just got to get the ink to dry, but we, we be doing. Some You're good. a fan. Take it too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Get a box fan. Our very own Gria the horror. She watches the horror movies, so you Thank don't you. have to. I appreciate you, girl, because I'm a chicken. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm seeing that this weekend, so I'll check it out. Check it out. Tell you how it is. But hey, I am Lady. I am one half of Geek by Heart. Um, you can find me and my husband at Geek by Heart. We do uh, trail reactions and we talk about movies. Um, he is also uh doing weekly uh playthroughs of God of War 2018. So catch him there also on YouTube. Again, Geek by Heart. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on TikTok. And uh, you can find me at uh, Lord's Eye View where I talk about horror as well. So do what you love. Love what you do. It is never too late to do those things. There it is. Talk to him, brother Montel. Uh, as you see, I got Ted Core right here to help me out here because here he's go. the real Blue Beetle. <laughs> Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blurs of all ages, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Once again, it's your frosted beard of blurred corn here. You can find me on the X and uh, Instagram under Navy Montel. You can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube under Rogue Catnip. I will be doing my videos in the next couple of weeks talking about San Diego and BlurCon. Um, I am one half of the Blurred Corn Speaks podcast. We're about to put another episode out because uh, Miss Angie did see Ahsoka and we did review it. So she's going to talk about it, and I'm just going to go, ooh, ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, the Color Commentary Wrestling Podcast will be coming back soon. We're just waiting on our leader, the man in charge, to get back where he needs to be, and we are continuing. Shout out to my brother, Nick. Yes. 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 Definitely big things over him. at Do at Do You Speak Geek. He's doing big things over there. He's trying. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and I am just trying to get back into the swing. I just started a new job and I am I'm grateful yes. and I'm looking forward to it and everything. And yeah, just come on and check us out because you have to stay nerdy, stay geeky, and stay sexy. Oh yes. Time. Mm-hmm. You know, I did I didn't I'm not trying to get my beard like yours, I'm just trying to get it oh. full. What? <laughs> Man, I done told you, I done gave you the secret now. You can't go to drag it, but at least help you with a damn beard. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, I this sounds man. some after dark shit. I mean, I have the <laughs> <laughs> and like clockwork. Yeah. We gonna get you every. We gonna get you straight every time, Spark. Yeah. <laughs> Come to the light, baby. I Come to the light. Just, I, it's just I, like I'm, just... I'm gonna go. He's like, I'm going to the back of the ship. There's gotta be a, a spot. No, there's there's, there's too many things back there. I gotta fix that are waiting on me, and I'm I'm good. I was, I was the fact that just I would love to have Navy's beer, just just free flowing, just so I can just do the Fu man chew. Just <laughs> have, a, have a mystical moment and just flip it off and just walk off into the sunset. But no, uh, well, like Larry or, Dickums, you know. <laughs> well, you know what? I will give the man credit. I will never be able to do what he does. Just <laughs> I can't even. I can't even do. I can't even voice him and keep a straight face right now. I try. Who Larry? You can't Larry. So for those who, if you don't follow Larry Dickums, only that's that's the name he's using. It's it's like a comic book character out of the Boondocks or something. It's it's Larry. You, <laughs> you got to check that. I'm always light. throwing in the check. He was, it's his signature move, the light skin panther. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Like, he's like, I mean, one of these days, people are offended. Oh, <laughs> oh you, it's, you how he re- it's how he revs up. It's how he rears up to do it, though. It's just, yeah. he, he, his videos are a lot more present than I can do it because I, I can imitate his voice, but I can't keep a straight face. But anyway, um, Black Spartan is what they usually call me. Black Fox 447 is where you can find me on all the socials. I usually do reviews on everything that I uh, read, that I watch, even gym stuff because I try to do a couple push ups. Um, I do have a couple podcasts of my own, my uh, daily political podcast, How the Frack We Got Here, every Wednesday and every uh, Saturday. Uh, my video game podcast called Get Bit, uh, also every Friday. Both shows can be seen on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And both podcasts are everywhere where you can find your podcast, uh, whether you watch them or read them. I am one of the many heads of the BlurredsEyeView.org website for the writing team. I usually cover wrestling. Why? Because wrestling is real and people are fake. Don't believe me? Ask CM Punk that same question right oh, now. Oh, I was about Thank you, my man. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Thank you. It's like, don't believe me, CM Punk right now is unemployed. Yo, that, that, speech, that, that speech Triple H gave him a while back aged pretty well. Thank uh, you, right? Like, he's only a martyr. It's, it's only, you're only a martyr when it benefits you. And that's and that explains CM Punk's entire career. That mm-hmm. also being said, um, man, that's, that's going to come back to bite me somewhere. Um, <laughs> that also being said, guys, uh, if you do know somebody that is doing something different, as we've talked about in this podcast, um, all it takes is a leap of faith. If you know someone that is doing that or you yourself is doing it and someone knows that you're doing it, um, word of mouth is the most powerful advertising tool that we have. So if you know someone that's doing something that's different, it doesn't cost nothing to share it. If you want to donate, cool, that's up to you to donate to the church's money. But again, support them the same way you would support Beyonce if she knew you existed. Just because you go to her Renaissance Festival does not mean she can see you in all your silver glitter. Just pointing that out. Um, also, guys, it is con season, so again, three simple quick rules. Number one, respect all cosplayers. You do not want to be the guy that gets thrown into the back of a moving truck at a con because you decide yeah. you want to Google somebody. Don't mm. make a person like me happy enough to do that because I have no problem with that. So again, respect all cosplayers. Uh, number two, wash your ass. Uh, soap, wash your deodorant, ass. is still cheap. I mean, <laughs> you, you can get some dial. There's nothing wrong with dial soap. There's nothing wrong with dove soap. But nobody wants to go around a con smelling like uh, regrets and basically retired by nightmares. Regrets and baloney that's been left out in the sun too long. But you do not want to be smelling like that. And, uh, funions. I mean, just, just expired funions. You know what it, it smells like? Some, some people actually smell like expired funions and trash can juice. Oh. Yeah. I'm talking about, it's not, old, it's not old door, it's old damn. It's like, <laughs> why did you what made you think when you got out of bed that you could avoid every body of water before you decide to come to this con? This man said mm. trash can juice. I'm just, there's, <laughs> look, there are some people, the smell gets there before they do. That's how you know how bad it is. <laughs> what is your I'm name? Saying, Hot garbage. <laughs> it's like, yo, 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 bad breath was better than yo, B.O. That's, that's bad. Wow. I'm just saying, I, you know who you are. Please wash your ass. And last but not least, the last rule I have is the same rule I have in life. When you talk to me, I'm a very nice, a very social person. Just don't be a dick, and we'll all be cool. I love when you say that. That's Laney's trash, favorite line. Trash can juice. <laughs> I want you to think on that one for trash can juice. Ain't nothing good ever come out of I mean, roadkill smells better good. than some people. I'm just saying. Especially when you go into the gym, some people be putting on perfume on top of roadkill. Like, sir, you could put you could put uh, Dior on shit, and you can still smell shit. That's all I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> Trash can <catcher>. you. Um, <laughs> I am your man on the wall, Chris Fury. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to our guest, Aleem Leggett of Alter the Eagle uh, Arts. Thank you to this dope crew. We always got something special for you. We always got some new news for you. We always tell it like it is and have some dope reviews because you can't deny us because y'all here every week. If it's your mm-hmm. first time here, go show your love on the YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Check us out on Always Press Record. We are a proud affiliate of Otaku Noir. Yes. We are about to be affiliates of Blurred Station. Mm-hmm. We <laughs> are we We're, you just go drop it like that? So, so has the NDA disintegrated? I mean, there's, there's, no NDA, there's, no, there's no NDA, there's no NDA, there's no NDA, but there's some there's just, there's just, there's just, 
So there's no box fan involved. We don't need a box fan for the ink to There's only one no, fan. No, that's being no disfigured of a voice. So <laughs> <laughs> no hiding of the likenesses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just apparently not. Stay Lord. tuned. The lack of pump. No subtlety sir. at all for you, good sir. You want Black subtle? Subtlety. Did you forget what crew we are? <laughs> like, oh no, no! I'm proud of being subtly lit. We <laughs> literally will blow down a door. We. <laughs> you're by, you're by, you're I want blowing. Still pitching with you count. Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> We, I want blowage. We're like when I say we're like the Firefly crew. We're just black. It was like, <laughs> yeah, we're that. He gave me my. He gave me my position last week. I was like, all right, hell yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> we we do our thing, and you know, I know we do our thing. So, uh, but yeah, tune in every Tuesday at eight thirty p.m. Eastern. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Sam Thursdays at nine. Same channels. Uh, check us out on the IG. Uh, Flip that yeah, here we go. Uh, <laughs> it's Blurred's your computer. View. There he is. Blurred's Eye View. I didn't even know I switch it. I was going through the comments. Uh, go to Blurred's Eye View and you'll find a link tree in the bio to tell you everywhere you can find us because guess what? You can listen to us everywhere. You can see us everywhere. We everywhere. We out here. We, 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 we are beyond the four walls that you see around us uh, coming to a con near you. Uh, I want to thank our guest once again, Aline Leggett. Uh, go show your love on that support on that Kickstarter that he's got going up. That is a great read. Go check him out and show your love. We need more indie comics just like this. Um, and always a great episode. Mm-hmm. I hope everybody had fun. <laughs> that <black> uh, <laughs> Definitely. Remember to educate yourself and others, entertain yourself and others, and most of all, encourage yourself and others. And with that, we are. Out of here.